Oh, pollute. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay. We're live. Only you can start forest fires. <laughs> Only you, Josh, can start forest fires. <laughs> no one else. Nope. All right. So, uh, we're here with our buddy Edison once more. He Good to did, have you back. He didn't abandon us like we thought he would. Yeah. He's back. We were abandoned by Ed. Yeah. This is a replacement. To be fair, we've also been abandoned by Kelly and... Carrie. Carrie. Katie. 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 Matt. And Matt. <laughs> and... That's it. Mikkel. And... <laughs> no one else. No one else. No, no one else. Okay. We're not missing anyone important. No. Anyways... Ed, would you like to... Oh, yeah, completely something? forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, Ed. Come on, can someone turn, turn him on? Just, just flick him. Just break. Oh, you gotta replace the batteries. Episode 36. <laughs> Don't look back. Odd asks Kita if she thinks Thor is responsible for his lessening connection to the city or... Yeah, say, oh, the, the, that weird thing that's also in Kita's name is between a D and a TH. Just do a D. Say the year. Say the year. It's actually just Kita. a TH. Yeah. It's, it's just a, it's, it's Thor. Just the, the. No. When, uh, hold on, pause. I'm going to correct you here. Only when it's uh, starting in the middle of the, in the front of the name. When it's in the middle of the name, it's more of a D. <laughs> All right, uh, is everyone done squabbling? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. All right, I will halt until the squabbles are complete. Okay, now we're done. Okay. And Elric asks if he's aware of where the one master around, uh, Sadrun. Sadrun. So, yeah, just just call it the, the master rune. The official name for it would be the Sadrun. Um, which basically means like the runes of the savior, which is the giant's magic. So you can just call it the master rune. Rune TM. Yeah. Master sword. I'm going to call it the runist. Okay, you can do that. He says there's no idea where any of them will be hidden. He states that when he visited the halls of forgotten knowledge in Valkyf, Valkyf, he saw things relating to historical moments that he should have remembered or at least been told about. He could only grab one thing before leaving, which was the ring. Odd and Kita decided to travel to the edge of the world to find the wisdom of the world tree, Yggdrasil. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Yggdrasil. To figure out what's Yggdrasil. happening with Eldenheim. The party begins to climb the Vindukletar. Vindukletar. <laughs> that's, that's how you say it. We found, they don't beat the heart. we found it. Of Ingvald's mountain and encounters an uh, angry and territorial wind elemental that attempts to fling me, Rickard, off the cliff, everyone's favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The stock mm-hmm. is overcome by the rage of the eye, as per usual, and but refrains from have, harming anyone before it wears off. Rickard stays awake with Elric while Stock is pulled into a nightmare. Stock confronts this nightmare while the Baylor takes control of his body to confront Elric. He asked Elric about his goals and warns him to stay out of his way. Eventually, Stonk wakes up to Elric with his hand on his sword and Rickard monitoring the encounter. And then Slane woke up, tried to make it about him, and then no one cared. Yeah. <laughs> no one cared. I feel like there's a lot of context missing there, Lauren. Yeah, the, the reason I... So so I don't know if you, you guys have noticed, but when secret things happen... I don't really write them in the, in the recap. Yeah, because those those are meant to be secret. So anything I put in the recap is supposedly like common knowledge. Yeah, like you left out basically everything that happened in Stonk's dream. Right. Which is fair. Did any of you end up watching it? Nope. Alright. I've actively avoided. I don't watch those. Yeah. Especially the secret bits. The secret bits are for secret. If I had had my computer um, available, I probably would have... Cringe. If I wanted to listen, I'd just put my ear next to the door and listen live. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't do that. Of course not. I would never. What? No. See, what I do is I... I, <laughs> I sneak into Lauren's room and pet Mocha while she's not looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am really sorry that you were apparently surprised by that. I thought for certain I made that a very obvious. I knocked on your door. I like opened it wide. There was light. You gotta like in. make eye contact with me. And then I crawled on the ground. <laughs> The oh, deep. I just sneak into your room to steal your keycaps and just like wait until you until you like realize, hey, there's not enough keycaps. Uh, D and D is my safe space, and you snuck up behind me. I didn't appreciate that. I'm sorry. Do it again. Yeah, just just you you gotta like Josh make eye tomorrow. contact with oh, me. He's gonna do it later today. If you want to get Lauren's attention, just say ahoy, Manoy. The, the eight that ancient passcode. Just 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 say a oh, me me word almost right. All right. So no. <laughs> Dude, exactly. you, you want, where are you right now? Uh, it's the fucking mountain with the clitter. No, 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 it's the, uh, the what? Vinder Klitter. Vinder Klitter. Cholt? Are we at Cholt? No, nope. it's, it, it's the land of the giants. What's it called, Josh? The Vinder Klitter. No. Snapping Turtle Bay. What, what is the realm of the gods called? Eldingheim. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jotunheim? <laughs> no. Jotunheim, it's not, ju- it's not just Heim, it's Hymen. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so we've got a clitoris and a hymen now, so. Gotcha. <laughs> Moving uh, on. I'm just going to like call it Jotun House. Jotun House. <laughs> Is it Port Nyanyan? Port Nyanyan. Nyanyan. Yeah, I was looking through the, the recording yesterday, and Josh, like, said, was just like, Jotun. And, I'm, and I was just sitting there, like, oh. What is that? That is the most American. I'm gonna keep <laughs> pronouncing it that bad. Jotun. I'm not no, no. changing that. Anytime no, you sure. can make it worse. Jotun. No, I Jotun. could make it worse. <laughs> oh, the point is to be almost right. <laughs> Jotun. Okay. Anyway, well, it shows that you listen just enough to know what you're talking about, but not enough to actually internalize every part of it. Yeah, also, Josh is a professional at just completely cutting out the you in Jotun. Yes. Also, Lauren can have to listen to this and listen to everything we're saying wrong. Yeah. Yeah. She's been I'm, having to do that some session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. used to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, sometimes I rewatch old sessions and I go, oh my god, I didn't even try to say that right. What was, what was I doing? Okay, we're back in the cave. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Right. Ed, you remember all the insults we hurled at you and all the context for those, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> any any, any uh, rebuttals? No, you went to sleep. Yeah, you, you immediately went to sleep. Uh, my only rebuttals are your mom and gay. Mm-hmm. That's so it, you two, I do believe, Stonk and Slane had a little bit of a chat, right? Yeah. So you guys would be... Specifically, you're not allowed on watch by yourself anymore. Oh, yeah, that, that was fair. And I, I think I... He wasn't even alone on the watch. No, I was asleep. <laughs> Uh, you're not allowed to sleep alone anymore. I found a little bit about your dream. That's what it was. You two are, are required sleep buddies now. Alright, so if uh, that is the case, you two have already had your talk, so you will be waking up in the morning at this time. Stonk, you did not get a full night's rest, so you do still have that one point of, of exhaustion. Um, sleepy stonk. Sleepy stonk. Uh, if in if you want to wait it out or just like sleep a little bit longer while everyone else can talk while you're asleep, you can do that or you can keep moving with exhaustion. You know at this point in the mountain climb, climbing with exhaustion is a bad idea. I am going to keep sleeping. Everyone else, please have conversations. So well, I, had a, <laughs> I had a long rest before that. Could I just have gone back to sleep after the Can't only take one long rest per you day. can oh. only take one long rest per he's day. He's just tired. This isn't to give him a long rest. This is so he's not exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Lowercase. I, I want regular exhaustion, not right. points of exhaustion. True. <laughs> but. When I went to bed, well, I had... First, you should roll what uh, sort of oh. withdrawal symptoms you're dealing with. That is regularly. true. Right. This might be also sleeping off the withdrawal. Do you have a mechanic for when you switch to all sudden, or are you just having them for the rest of your life? With how much alcohol Slane is consumed, I don't know. I won't put you guys start taking damage. Oh, oh no. Oh, what did he roll? 90, 90 and a 3. Oh, oh no. Uh, let's find out. Oh, no. You are blasting out of both ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Would you like to clarify? Uh, Was I right? <laughs> shaky hands, racing pulse. Oh, perfect okay. for so, climbing. Hypoxia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
you're going to be great for climbing. Oh, yeah. You could just carry. Do I have any heart medications? <laughs> you have tea. You have tea. Do I have tea that can treat whatever the fuck that is? Hypoxia? <laughs> if you want to do a nature check, you can look around for herbs that aren't frozen and dead. I have a whole bag of herbs. I don't know if I have the right herbs, but I have herbs. I'll, I'll, I'll help you with this. You want to do nature? No, I can't. You want oh, no, nature? Really I, no, I think we agreed that anything really above an 80 was debilitating, right? I don't think we ever agreed what all I, but nine is nine to be able to yeah. <laughs> So Man, I'm really gonna I'll use all fly on nature to I? see if I can figure something out. No, for someone's him. Yeah, go ahead. Um do nature to well do a medicine to figure out what's wrong with him, and then do um a nature to find herbs that might help. Yes. Okay. Is it blinking? No, there's no light on at all. There's no light on at all? Has it not been um, recording this whole time? Testing, no, it's recording. Testing. Okay. One, two. Oh, I think it's kumquat. it's. I think it's doing my. Is it doing the laptop? laptop? It might be doing my laptop audio. Oh, I can fix flash. that. Oh, it flashed briefly. It flashed. We're good. The USB might be wiggly. Hang on. Yeah. Mess with the USB real quick. Yeah. yeah. See, it keeps coming on. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's just a loose. And thing. as soon as you let go, yeah, there, it's, it's good fine. now. Okay. Just don't just shake the table. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pause it real quick. Oh. Okay, it's working. We're live. You, We're you back. Spelled praise the sun. <laughs> huh? yeah, okay, medicine check. I got a ten. Okay, yeah. Crap. So for um for a medicine check, no. that's it to figure out what's wrong with him. Ten. What? Uh, he's not doing good. That's a proficient ten. Yeah, you can tell there's something up with him for sure. I make him tea. All right, you want to find a nature check just to see if you can figure out the right herbs to help. Because I will say it can take away from the symptoms if you roll well. Can I have 12? Okay. Can I? I would probably... I didn't say it, so it's too late. I would have guided myself, but I didn't say it. Yeah. I will say in the future, if you want to help him out with teas, we can set a specific DC that would help like reduce how effective it is on Slay. But I would say those rolls are not good enough. Can I? Uh, while he's making the tea, try and roll a nature to see if what he's giving me is gonna make my symptoms worse. <laughs> Go ahead. I probably would, if I didn't know what I was doing, I probably would take a neutral thingy. Yeah. Thank <laughs> God I'm a half -life. I don't think it's gonna matter much, because that's already gonna be a six, but let's see if we can make it low. Yeah, it's six. Six? Oh, you don't know what he's okay. putting inside of you. Okay. Poison. I have poisoning you. <laughs> Prepare to die, you killed my father. <gasps> All right, so he's the reason for my symptoms. Slane, you're you're feeling fuck, fucky wucky right now. Uh, Stonk is still sleeping. Um, Ricker, you you woken up. You slept like a baby, unaffected by this whole situation. Sweet. I I just know that the only person I respect now is Slane. There's like a brief moment where I was like, yeah, Elric, that this seems pretty cool. It's got a relation to the Baylor, and now it's just. Down, down the drain. Yeah, no, nope. it's just Slane now. Nope. Why is Slane the most respected in this party again? <laughs> uh, did, did, was it that we don't think Edison remembers that he still has questions to ask? Yeah, I. I <laughs> oh, I still remember. Uh, okay. Oh no! Oh no! He's waiting on it. <laughs> He's waiting. Okay. So I figured it out for you, Lauren. Uh huh. Word initially it's an F. Word merely it's an F. Oh, I see. I'm looking at the linguistic writings on Icelandic. It was just commonly replaced Fucking with D, so I just kind of assumed no, that. No! Okay. That's not how I know the, the, the I know the thorn was Hey, don't, what are you going to do with that linguistics degree? Listen, you don't What see, job you getting? You don't, <laughs> progressive? <laughs> yeah, it says, it says it's, it's, it's like the T, cut. it's like the T, it's like the T, H, and feather. Yeah, feather. well, you don't see T, H, and go, duh. <laughs> I'm going to put up all my T, H's as duh. 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 The hot. The <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm still sleeping. Uh, you're still do you, do you drink, oh, do you drink you're the still tea? tea making, I, and you're still raking. I will take a single sip of the tea to make raking? me feel good, and then not touch it at all. Uh -uh. Is, is, is that... What, you don't need tea right mean? now. You need alcohol. <laughs> I need alcohol. This clearly isn't it. Fulfill the... Listen, if you just leave it out long enough, you'll have kombucha. I, I, 
I don't even know what to call it. It's not really a rhyme. It's not like alliteration. Oh, for kombucha. Lauren, <laughs> still bacon. Okay, now I know that it's just it's just like cross the line into absurdity. Okay. okay. What? Sorry. <laughs> what? I was trying to dissect something that uh, Josh said, and I was like confused. And then he said something that removed all doubt that it was uh that it was like gibberish. A, a gibberish it joke. It was gibberish. Oh. It was just gibberish. Okay. <laughs> but so, he was trying to find meaning. In stonk, it. Is, was, stonk is asleep. Definitely. You're having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having heart palpitations. Thank you very much. So it's just not me, an attack. Me and record. Yeah, these two. I never put my sword away. I just think it's weird that I woke up before Stonk. Honestly. It's like, whoa. Whoa. That's weird. Whoa. It's, weird. it's like, usually Stonk's like, Stonk like, he functions on very little sleep. <laughs> Stonk is Trump. <gasps> First of all, that. let's take down the Abnordian Empire. <laughs> Make Abnordia great again. Make the Abnordian Empire great again. We took down the Galamorians around a couple years ago, and now it's time to remove the half. No. <laughs> Look, we'll King Bald up. We'll, we'll build Lock, a wall King up. up. Look, King Bald up. We'll, we'll build a wall what's, around what's, the halfling empire and the, make them pay for it. What does, <laughs> what's the Altingheim equivalent of things, Obama? <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Alfar. That, that was Bodolf's dad. Thanks, Alfar. And he was, he was, uh, canonically the worst. Oh. He oh. was the one who, uh, who uh, was in charge of the siege on the halflings and the goliaths. Wow. Thanks, really Alfar. fucked that one up. Really yeah. fucked everything up. Yeah. All right. Well, well no, the, the, uh, the, uh, well, the thing is, they, the, the sad thing about their takeover of the, uh, Lego Sharian Empire is that they did it at the same time while they were taking over another area and uh, bulldozed both of you. <laughs> Alright, well, sucks for you. I'm giving a half like medical treatment. So, what are you up to? Maybe you shouldn't be so small. <laughs> small, submissive, and readable. Don't talk about slipping like that. <laughs> You're not denying it. <laughs> Uh, you met Slime. Is it wrong? Because I wasn't here last session, can you uh, remind me as to, like exactly where on the climb we are, or exactly so like, you the guys, general landscape we're at? You guys probably have a couple more days to go, but you know it get it only gets worse. Okay. So uh, you guys have been basically climbing for maybe weeks now, and it's slowly been going, and now and now now you're up here. Where it's becoming almost vertical. We found a little cave uh, off to the side. Yeah. Um, How long has it been since I joined the crew? Well protected, um, so fine. like four gotcha. or five days. No, it's been like a week or two now. Like they're, they're, you guys have been climbing a while. A while because th- this this climb is technically supposed to take a month, but we're speed running. Yeah, so we, we're speed running through it. So when when you hear me giving uh, monologues, you can assume multiple days have gone by. Okay. Okay. Given that information, we're probably just, like, taking a peek outside, like, ah, oh, fuck, this is what we gotta do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but nothing really productive, just mental preparation for, ah, oh, shit, we really gotta do this. You peek your head out and I say, don't aggravate the air elementals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behaving like a small child. I've taken a sip of the medicine and put it to the side. But you're gonna bully him into drinking it off like a like a like a man. Yeah, you're getting bullied. <laughs> what do you do about it? Do you want to roll intimidation? His heartbeat's like or persuasion. <laughs> Come on, drink your medicine. <laughs> I will roll the appropriate wisdom. <laughs> Is this a save or just a straight wisdom? Uh, for what? <laughs> to, to counter the uh, <laughs> the baby oh, that, talk. Oh, <laughs> I think that'd just be insight. Okay. Um. Nine. Oh no. <laughs> Persuasion. I have a plus four for thirteen. I reluctantly drink. 
I, I drink my gross ass tea. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be here enough for multiple hours today. <laughs> you know, I tell you, if you don't take good care of your heart, you'll switch from this tea, and I point to like the, the pine tea uh-huh. to my tea, which is sludge. Inevitably, when uh, when Slane has to go to an old person's home <laughs> and Rickard has to give him his tea every morning, this is gonna be Rick. This is gonna be Slane avoiding. <laughs> <laughs> Like, come on, Slane, take, take your daily tea. <laughs> We've reached the uh, the dad from Mulan. <laughs> OG Mulan, not new Mulan. We don't, yeah, we don't talk, talk about, about new Mulan. Mulan. No, no. We should watch that tonight. OG Mulan? Yeah, OG oh, Mulan. Okay. Why? Yes. yes, let's watch the new Mulan. Oh, let's get down to business. To, to defeat... defeat. All right, Your no, 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 guys, guys, guys. That is not how far the new Mulan went into that one. Yeah. Yeah, they, they went like, to... <laughs> they went like <laughs> one line into that song and said, ah, fuck it. Musicals let's, are for losers. Let's, let's get down. You think that they'd be like, they're like, yes, we want to do a more authentic Chinese version of this Chinese story. Let's put witches in it. And let's make Mulan. Phoenixes don't rise from the ashes in China. They represent the queen. <laughs> and, and okay, moving on, we're done. Continue. <laughs> we, I care yeah, too we, much. Can, we can start like a podcast sometime <laughs> where we can rant about this stuff. Uh, but we should focus on D and D here. Because that's what we're all uh, here yeah. for. I am also waiting for something to happen between these two. We'll be done I, for a podcast. I am ignoring you, you in favor of him. And I'm very clearly I am not ignoring you. I'm very much not ignoring you, ignoring you. Where the I'm fuck that is? I'm ignoring you. Tell me when I can wake up. <laughs> does he wake up? Does he wake up? I'm giving Rick a look like, is this song for the You never you? wake up. You're oh. fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling a new character. Uh, okay. this, is, this is how Lord had to kill 46 you. 46 yeah. minus yeah. the lowest, right? Yeah, I, I'm waiting for the day that inevitably Josh and I decide okay. to kill Stonkoff, and you all look 14? at us like we're fucking insane. First stat is a 14. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. All right. I'm writing this down. Uh, second stat is ooh. a... Ooh, that was a, that was a rough one. Just nine. a... Oh, nine. <laughs> is this a Stonkling? Oh god, I hope not. This one's a... Oh dear. Ooh, there's a 14 again. So 14, 14, 14 9. We've got three more to go. I thought you just wanted to play D&D. <laughs> oh, oh god. Oh, that's a six. six. <laughs> that's an inch dump. Putting that one in strength. <laughs> uh, actually, you're rolling your stats Wait, no. in order. No. We're, we have no more strength, bros. No, I know. no, please don't put it in strength. Slitting needs to be the weakest one. That's a nine. Six. <laughs> that's another nine. <laughs> Alright, this is the last stat. Mm, three negatives. Oh, alright. I actually think you're below 13. 70. I think I am too. Alright, moving on. Moving on. Uh, um, so on. We'll, we'll say I, what's going on right right now is. I, uh, I am also giving Rickard a look of like, is this what it's normally like for you where you just get to watch everyone else? Are you guys doing your secret language right yes. now? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so now with your height. Um, do you have high insight or just high perception? Uh, my passive insight is 70. Okay. You get the sense, I want to talk to you, but you look sick as fuck, so I'm not talking to you. <gasps> just thumbs up. But yeah, you get the secret uh, message of... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> but... No one expects anything? So while Ricker is kind of doing his own thing on the side and Elric is making his own tea as well as trying to help Slane, I'll say a couple more hours go by that would functionally be a short rest. You wake up no longer exhausted, but yeah. you're still you're still fucked. I'm still fucked? Yeah. In what regard? Mentally. Oh, physically, yeah. no, emotionally. Spiritually. As as spiritually. The exhaustion uh, you know what? I didn't get to you know what? Especially point. spiritually. <laughs> Spiritually, I'm broken. Oh. All right. He's just gonna praise Jeebus. Stop. And I'll be all right. Yes. I need a favor. Already? Yeah, I uh, hold up a hand and it's shaking quite, quite uncontrollably. I can't climb today. <laughs> Each episode. 
Well, it sounds like they yeet uh, Slanage in your speech. <laughs> to be fair, you could you could tie the halfling to the Goliath in a little baby pouch sling thing. <laughs> you guys do have harnesses. You yeah. could just attach your harnesses yeah. and hang okay. off your back. Give him a piggyback. Put him that your belly. would put Slane in a constant position where he's looking down. <laughs> so if Is you want him else? screaming into your ear constantly. <laughs> Is everyone else able to climb? I feel fine. Good. All right, spice away. <laughs> All right. It's over. Oh no! Survival check from so, one of you. Uh, our, whoever's uh, whoever's leading the way, which probably would be Stonk. Guidance. And I can give you advantage. Yes. Because that's, that's literally all I could do is just yeah, look don't around. Take it all. I'm not good at survival. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 21. Okay, yeah. You, uh. Thank god for the advantage. You <laughs> are, uh, <laughs> very. I'll say, you, you find yourself climbing, um, sections of cliffs for anywhere around two to six hours a day. You did get a little bit of a late start today, which is normally dangerous because. Usually at this time, the sun would actually be melting some of the ice, but because there is an eternal blizzard going on, it's not that big of a deal. And because you rolled so high, you are able to avoid avalanches. Um, Just waiting for us to roll shit. Fuck you. <laughs> every day you, you reach a stopping point between these uh, sheer ice cliffs. Um, they're, they're, Vindler Kletar is plural, so it's multiple cliffs of wind. Um, so you have you have scaled a couple of them at this point. Occasionally, uh, you actually cross the bodies of those who are less fortunate than you. Not there's Everest. no, well, yeah. yeah, no, there's no smell to them. Only the frozen blood engulfing their bodies. Uh, Trick. It, you you, you want to grab some supplies off them? Investigation check. Absolutely. I would love to do an um, investigation <laughs> check. Check out so this shit. Is this a couple days in where I can mark off my point of exhaustion? Yeah, you okay. can say you've been doing this for, for a couple okay. days at this I point. will give you advantage for your investigation. <laughs> at this point, the cliffs you guys are climbing are almost completely up and down. 19. Uh, that's a 22. 22? 22. All right, with a 22, I say... Um, Roll a. You roll a d12 for me. A d12. That's the fun die. That's the most rollable die other I than know. the d20. That's why I picked it for you. Yes. Huzzah. Three. Three <laughs> times that by two. That's how many arrows you get. Six and arrows. You roll a d12. Divide that by two. Divide. <laughs> Twelve. Oh. oh. Am I dividing it or multiplying it by two? Uh, I'll say you get 12 flat. Yay. Because people are more likely to have arrows than crossbow bolts in this fair. mountain. So, so adding 12 to that. Yeah, you, you can also gain, um, I'll say, 1d4 rations each, along with adequate climbing supplies to continue Three. the climb. Cute. Is that 1d4 plus all the food we plus the enough to replenish the last four days? Or do we get 1d4 and then we just immediately use it to replace the one we just ate to get there? Because it took four days Slane to get can there. technically what? make you guys food with spells. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, I know. Let me double check. You guys... I need to, I'll have that prepared. Yeah. But you guys will, like, yeah. camp every night and yeah. Slane will, try, will help you out with a hearty meal, which, regardless of your feelings for Slane, is actually extremely helpful in this climate, the ability to actually have good food. Unfortunately, it's actually not good food. It does specify it is bland. No, good food as in it fills uh, you up. It has protein. And it's not it's dried hard. out husk. Right. It's only mostly you aren't, dry. You aren't putting... You aren't, like, spitting saliva onto it just so you can bite down. Yeah. That's a third level. That's all you, Slane. Yeah, I, that's fine. I'll Don't worry, guys. I'll get third level spells soon. <laughs> <laughs> what? Seven levels from now? <laughs> yeah, just about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so when I get it, it's over for you fuckers. <laughs> um, that, along with adequate climbing supplies, and also, for those who need it, probably Slane, Elric, and... Uh, and Rickard, um, some extra layers of clothing, which as you take them off the dead bodies, you notice that it's kind of difficult to tear like the leathers off of them because it's been frozen to their bodies. But 
you are able to, with prestidigitation, along with, you know, mending. campfires and stuff, mending, etc., are able to fix it up and uh, make it not feel as dead, and you are able to remove the blood. I give them yeah. the appropriate funeral rites. I'm just adding it as, as nice possible. Action. I don't. You would clothes. probably attempt to set them on fire. I, I don't have alcohol, so I can't give them the proper funeral rites. Yeah. So, so what you would do most likely? Or at least is, I give them their prayer or some shit. Yeah, you would most likely lay them down flat, so they are laying down, because it is believed that if you aren't laying down when you're sleeping, you will come back as an undead or as a dragger. So, uh, you probably would lay them down, close their eyes, give them some sort of burial, or light them on fire. But most likely, you are just burying them in the snow. I cast probably avalanche. Be... <laughs> <laughs> what? Probably not going to be lighting people on fire up here, if no. I'll be honest. No, the, the wind is I'm not. I'm surprised we didn't that. just toss them off the cliff to be safe. Yeah, you could do that, but, but Elric's too nice. And you don't have the strength. I do. I don't. I actually. Not so now you can just yeet. I, mean, it's I can I can I can be yeeted, but I can't yeet. Most. You can't be. What's your strength, Elric? Eight. 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 Seven. Ten. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Eighteen. Yeah, it must be nice. It is nice. All right. Literally, the next two highest strength people in the party combined have your strength. Another survival check, please. Advent guidance. Uh, yeah, do you, you want can... me to roll it this time? You can assume it's. You can assume it's. Uh, you always get guidance and advantage for yeah. this. Uh, that's a non natural 20. Alright, with a non natural 20. An eternal winter's deep depth of snow buries some of the wind cliff's walls. Stonk, you lead the way as the cliffs become more sloped and more vertical, and every once in a while, Slane, you jump in fear from the sound of a howling boulder falling above you. Very slowly, Stonk, you begin to make your way up the steep and icy cliff sides, setting anchors for the rest of you to follow suit. Stonk, you're determined to get this over with. You know there's no time to think about anything else. Rickard, your fingers ache from the climb and the cold, but you grit your teeth and bite your tongue. Slane, you cling to the wall and focus on breathing, trying to Actually, avoid he looking down. To me. He clings to me. <laughs> well, are you are you still holding, having it on your back? Yeah, for the climbs. I'm All right, sounds back. good. Yeah, because well, you technically you don't can have enough follow because right now yeah. you guys have the anchors on the wall and you are moving extremely slow. Why would not? So I? unless Slane's nerves get in the way, where yeah. he just you know clings to the wall and starts having a panic attack. He, he would be okay, but you want to keep it's him on your, your back? Tw- it's your 25 I'm move speed that fucks you. Well, but... I don't trust him. You guys are you moving, can, like, five feet around. Yeah, right? you can also only move five feet going up as well. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, but if you... That's honestly very fair. So, are you keeping Slane on your back in the yes. back then? All right. Um, then, Slane, like you that. cling to Stunk, and you, uh, you are only focused on breathing, and you are avoiding looking down into that white abyss below you. Your elbows and shoulders and knees burn with the pain as you were not built for this weather. <laughs> Elric, you try your best to keep moving, focusing on your footwork, but when you feel stable, you look around at everyone else and see only the fear and une- unease that remains on everyone's face. There is no time nor energy for talking. Can you all, who are climbing at least, make an athletics check? You cannot give him advantage on athletics check. Don't even fucking try. I, 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 <laughs> I would like to use a sorcery point to re-roll. Go ahead. May I use a sorcery point to re-roll? Yeah, that's, not, that's not particularly great. Well, um, that is okay. <laughs> I think there's Glad a lot to use sorcery point. All right, could you guys position yourself on this map as if this map was vertical? So that's a fourteen. I'm. In the I front. guess. I guess. Um, I'm and also, here please then mark because... on the map where your anchors are. I would probably be at the end. So. You would not. No, no, no. You would not be right next to each other. You guys would be at least like 10, 15 feet apart. If you are right behind someone, you are going to get debris kicked in your face and you're going to fall off the cliff. The reason I'm on his back. No, you two are fine. I'm talking mainly about about you guys. One, two, three. I think 10 feet off to the like left or right. Not left or. No, not straight down. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be at an angle. So I now have four sorcery yeah. points. Hypothetically, what would happen if I kept that now one? Uh, you'd fall and die. 
he wanted to roll a new character, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, can I play Slim Jelly Beans not having to a Baxi bar next time? Yeah, sure. Combat? Probably the best case scenario. Okay. Would you like to know what mine was? No. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> okay. What was it, 20-something? 24. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Rickard? I rolled a nine, which isn't particularly amazing. Okay, you... Okay, what do you, what do you roll? Well, no, you know, I just want to roll for So SMGs. what did you roll then? Uh, 14. 14. <laughs> you Thank are God able to keep up. Like... You you are kind of slowing down the pace a little okay. bit. Sometimes Elric like gets a bit too close to you because he catches up with you, and you notice that Stonk and Selene kind of get a little bit farther away from you. He's holding up the line. You're just trying to keep moving, buddy. And this evil motherfucker's purpose. <laughs> He's trying to fuck this up for you. He's trying to kill you. <laughs> I'm going to give you guidance out of spite. <laughs> I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> the most passive aggressive. Oh, you need some help? <laughs> Bless your heart. Isn't guidance a touch? I caught up to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. That's also roughly what damage that would be up to. Rickard. Slap his hands. As you all are slowly making your way up this cliffside, you are kind of holding your body to the wall because, you, like, like I said, you're moving a little bit slow. Yeah. Occasionally you need to close your eyes, hold onto the wall, take a couple breaths. It's like breathing through a straw up here. As you press your body to the wall, you hear the cliffside slightly crack. However, it doesn't sound like the crack of a rock. It sounds like a crack of ice. Did it, and it happens again. Does it sound like a small squirrel playing an acorn? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <coughs> Scrat, no! No, not again! You say anything? Or do you pass a dead body holding your ankle? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would assume, like, most other people would have heard that. I mean, it's just, like... It's just oh, it is a very noise. light crack. I don't hear it. No, not yet. Oh. Yet. I don't... I don't like the word yet. Lauren. I don't like the word yet either, Lauren. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say... Uh, uh, strained, obviously, like... Hey, guys! I, ice is giving away a bit. <laughs> ice check. Yeah. You want to do an ice check, nature check? Can I also do a nature check? Yeah. Ice is fine, Lauren. <laughs> it's a okay. Can I do a survival check? Yes. Four. Four. Uh, God, I wish I could do a survival. But instead, here. I, I, I just put together that I didn't. Uh, I didn't figure that out because I rolled low. I got figured that out because of the fucking investigation. Uh, I just figured that out. Hmm? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Ice is fine. Yeah, so you notice these these cliffs, you're getting to that point in the climb where you're not really climbing on rock at this point. You're climbing on ice. You, you don't see much because you're on Stonk's back. But Stonk, you see this. You hear it. Stonk, as you look at the ice in front of you, you hear the crack this time and see the ice in front of you clear up as it melts. A faint orange glow works its way through the ice towards your face as a baby Remoraz bursts out of the ice, screeching at you. Slanae, you hear this as well. Roll initiative. Oh! oh a Remoraz. I love Remora. Baby centipedes! I love- this oh, is- Oh, damn. I'm going first, bro. Remoraz is my favorite. Uh, you might not be going first. Damn, I'm not going first. Uh, the Rickard, Honestly, the one right here is beginning to make its way through. This one would have surprised you if you wouldn't have made the survival check. Uh, so you guys are not surprised right okay. now. Please roll initiative. All right. This is stock. Am I 16. surprised? Uh, probably. Was wait, four? Yeah, when wait, you rolled the lowest, that was rolled a 16. Yeah, what was I yours? Uh, 17. I rolled a 20. I rolled a 17. I'm rolling I rolled for 16. The, I think the baby 17 plus 3. Renee. Yeah, so, okay, I go third then. Okay, so, uh, Damn, can, we can all guys, good. the Remorazes get, uh, a, a, a plus, so that's a 9 for them. So what, what order? <laughs> They're going last. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so Slanae's first, uh, then so then what, what did you get, Slanae? Okay. Huh? What did you roll? I got a dirty 20. 
20. Elric got a 17. 17. 17. And Stonk got it also a 17, but lower dex. Ricker got a 16. Oh my god. (laughs) And you got a 9. All right, so Rickard, you do see the one uh, coming out of the ice. It is not, you can't hit it yet, but it, it is approaching you at the minute. So so keep in mind where you guys are attached on the anchors, and if you were to fall off, how far would you fall? It is 20 feet of rope, so you can go 20 foot feet down past the anchor. Okay, uh, so I'm going first? Yep. Okay. So you see this little baby centipede-like thing pull its way out of the ice with burning red um, spines on it as well. And this thing is about to just leap on Stonk's face. Oh, Stonk, I'm your greatest, I, I'm your hero right now. I would like to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna have it make a quick little... How yeah, windy is it? In my it's very windy. <laughs> no fog cloud? No uh, fog cloud. Okay. So Spiritual Weapon uh, does a 17 hit. Um, a 17 does hit. I would like to also mark it as you, a favorite I thought, foe. I thought that was with a... It just, w- it just when I hit with an attack. Every time. Uh, yeah, when you hit a creature with an attack roll. Okay. You can mark it as a favorite enemy. Uh, yeah. So it's gonna take... Uh... So that's six plus four. Ten points of force damage. Does that count as a melee attack? Uh, no. Okay. I, wait, actually. Actually. Uh, it's a bonus action. Remove the, uh, mm. No, I think spiritual weapon, you'd actually be okay. Spectral weapon. You're you good. make a melee spell attack. It does specify that. What uh, happens if the spiritual weapon takes damage? It, it can't yeah. take damage. Okay, and you're it good. It could be dispelled. Yeah, but it doesn't take the damage. All right. Um, and then... Uh, you could kill him. Yeah. That's gonna be... Actually, uh, I would like to... Just because I can't do anything else with my action quite yet. Oh, wait, actually, it's out now? I'm going to make an attack against it with my, my crossbow. Okay, um, I am how? A... You are attached to Stonk's back and it is right in front of Stonk. Oh, oh, over Stonk's head, like, literally peering from you, behind. You use Stonk as a stabilizer. Using... <laughs> yeah. You're using his shoulder as a yeah. stabilizer? Okay. Roll with disadvantage. Yeah, because it is within melee combat. And if you miss, you hit Stonk. What if you get a crit fail? Um, that's gonna be... How much damage did you say it took? Uh, it took 10. 10 damage yeah. from that one. Got it. Uh, this is going to be uh, 16 to hit. That hits. Okay. That's also a d8. Okay. Um, and that's gonna take... This is not magical. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's 6... 9 points of piercing damage. 9? Alright. If we miss, do we hit the ice? And if we heist, do we hit the ice, do we fuck up and die? Yes. Oh. Lauren, most of my magic is thunder. I will shatter this rock and we you will fall. You can fly, you'll be fine. <laughs> Ten feet! <laughs> um, so that is my full turn. Okay. Alright, up next we've got Elric. Elric's and Baylor, the 11th. Okay, I thought of a couple things and I realized they're suicidal. Um, Couple questions: Are they lizardy things? Are they ice monsters? What what what, yes. what, what, what are we looking at? Yes. Are they icy monsters? Are they? But, uh, what are you asking? Sorry. I think I'm a do they look like a beast? Uh, they are oh. monstrosities. Okay, but do they look organic? Do they, do they have flesh and bone? Yes. Or are they made out of rock? Flesh and bone. Okay. They are they are basically ice centipedes. I would like to shoot that one with a second level magic missile. Okay. Just because um, if I miss, bad things happen. So I'm just not going to. I refuse. On principle. One, two, three, four. Okay. I get to cast um, 4d4 plus uh, 4. Would you like additional d4s? Two D four. 
I should have 44 ace. I got it. Okay. Probably. Maybe. Yes. I have exactly 44. Um, it takes wow. 5, 6, 8, 12 points of force damage. And it's very sad. Yeah, um, it's not, that one isn't visible yet, so you probably would have had to hit this one. Okay, well that one still one's in my range. Yeah. So you, it said 12, right? Yeah, 12 force damage. All right. Does it just... Unless they have shield, then I'm screwed. Do they have shield, Lauren? No. Obviously. Okay. Up next is Stoink. 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 Um, yeah. So You you cannot use your halberd at the minute because you are you you are don't climbing need it. right now. Don't need it. Alright, what do you gotta do? Um head by. He's gonna grapple so, in and pile drive it through the top from the top rope. Just yank it out and clamp through its little hole. Throw it off. Yeet! So the thing about flying creatures is that if they get knocked prone, they fall. They're not flying. They're not flying. Well, they will be soon. <laughs> Um, I'd like to grapple this little bitch. Good luck. I, uh, would be shocked if I lose this somehow. Also, a bonus action rage. Okay. Oh, that. God. Oh, no. Um, Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up, please. Before, wait, do you hit it? Do you, do you try to grapple it first, or do you rage first? Uh, probably rage first to give myself Okay. Advantage. Um, before anything happens... Man, I hope this isn't a You take... Idea. Nine points of fire damage because you touched it. He didn't touch it. I yet. haven't touched it. You you are grappling it. He's so raging. He's raging yeah. first. Raging and then you're grappling it. Yeah. I haven't even gotten to that point. I have yeah. to succeed in the grapple check first. Yeah. I think a grapple check means you do touch it. You yeah. Just, well, I will. I just haven't gotten to that point yet. Yeah, but he's yeah. rolling first, for rage. Let me see if I actually fuck everything over okay, here. Okay, sure. Because the the rage is kind of a. Oh, okay, sorry. we're fine. Oh, <laughs> I feel like if you didn't hit the pen, you would have. Uh, <laughs> so you, you, your attempt to grapple it still does include you touching it. So okay. you do take nine points of fire damage. Four damage. Cool. Right. Um, so now the grapple check. Now you have to grapple. Yeah. And so we can make an acrobatics or athletics, and then I make an athletics. Okay. Oh, uh, and I get advantage. Uh, Nineteen. Okay, you beat it. All right. It is now grappled. And you grab it with your hands, and its little burning spines just just dig into you. You realize that, dear God, you felt painful things, but this is like an insect bite sting. This is the most painful thing you've ever experienced. Fucking four fingers. damage. Four damage. Um, it's a very painful four damage. It's like yeah. breaking your ankle. Oh, it's like being stung you, by a fucking massive bee. Do you grapple it? Just turn around and grab. <laughs> So, yeah, remind me, the mechanics for grappling and then knocking someone prone is that you grapple them and then you basically... You make a shove attack. Yeah. You make mm-hmm. a shove attack. With advantage, because... Mm-hmm. Because they're grappled. Yep. Uh, yeah, I would like to do that, and I would like to shove this little bitch five feet far off the this cliff. way. You've already grappled... So we're, are, I have doing two great. attacks. Okay. Grapple is one of them. And then shove, shove attack. Second. All right. And I have advantage... Te- that's technically not raw, but... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. No, that that's is no, basically is. how his grapple rope It's a shove attack. Yeah, yeah the shove it's attack a, The shove attack done. is done once, but I think and you can only grapple once. He has once. multiple attacks. So Each one's an attack. Uh, Each is an attack. attack. Yeah, a, yeah, a shove action and a grapple are considered special attack actions. They mm. can replace a uh, single oh, regular attack. Yes. Got it. They're not an action. Double eights. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta roll also, is it once again a... I think this is just a normal attack. I don't... Is this against AC? or acrobatics. It is against AC. It's a contested roll. It's a contested roll. No one ever does this. No, nobody does... Nobody does shoves. Uh, that was a, a 22. It succeeds, so it All doesn't right. get shoved, but it is still grappled. Yep. All right. Um, and now it's Rickard's turn, because that was my turn. You try to, like, yeet it and throw it off, but it is, like, latched like, on to you. It's, it's biting like, me. Oh, God, get it off of me. <laughs> you know what you're going to do? You slam it into the wall. I'm going to do that next turn. For one of my attacks, I'm just going to throw it into the wall, <laughs> and I'm going to throw it off. <laughs> 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 Shove. Using the attack action, you make a special melee attack. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, it will one attack. 
Yep. Uh, one size larger or less. Check, check. Uh, athletics versus uh, athletics or dexterity. And okay, then, so then, it is. And then if he does, he not get prone or push it five feet away. Mm-hmm. And five feet away is... Wee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, up next. Uh, Remoras right, don't have wings, right? So huh? Remoras are burrowers. They don't have wings. Yes, right? they are burrowers. Okay. They were... They were, um, their eggs are inside the cliff. They're burrowers. And they are hatching. If they're raw. Oh. But okay. this is Lauren's campaign, so they can have wings if they want to. Yeah. So, uh, get, they, there's one currently burrowing at me as we speak, correct? Yes. And you hear the cracks. Okay. So, I hear the cracks. Can I, can I see any of the, uh, glow through the ice at all? Or? Do you want to use your action to do perception check? Uh, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like actually, I'm actually offended entire... you asked that. <laughs> Would you like to waste your entire turn and use your... possibly get nothing? Use your fire magic on the eyes. I have a feeling it'll work great. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Maybe make some thunder uh, attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, this, on a the sheer... I noticed the party was stressed out, so here, my gift to you is baby centipedes. <laughs> Yeah, well, Thank you, every, God. Every single one of these uh, joke uh, suggestions, it makes me really want to use Creep on Fire a little bit if, more. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, my first thought was to cast Shatter right here. <laughs> and if it took you a would have killed out. everyone. <laughs> There's a reason I didn't do it. I'm so glad I have no thunder spells. Mm. I'm, well, a, I'm a lightning and thunder cleric. God, how unfortunate for you. Based on the idea of these... I have fog cloud. <laughs> But these uh, little guys uh, burrow. They're probably not very sight based, but off the on the off chance, uh, I'm going to cast silent image. Okay. And I'm going to make it such that it look uh, to obscure uh, my presence at least. Okay. And make it look like there's a bit more uh, area to burrow through, so it might be surprised and try to over overdo it. Okay. They'll over burrow and it's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that is the general plan, and I'm just trying to... That's your turn? Uh, yeah. All right. it doesn't spit out. Um, so it is now the Remoraz's turn. It has Tremor Sense, so it knows all that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. That's quite a shot. Yeah. It was a good try, though. So it bursts through the ice right around your knee and is going to attempt to uh, start bite attacking you. your legs. It's going to bite your The ankles. one uh, by Stonk is just going to let out... It is going to launch down on your arm as hard as it can. Go for it, bitch. Uh, the one against Stonk is going to... That is... Uh, that probably actually doesn't hit. That is a 14 to hit. That doesn't hit. That misses. All right. And then the one against Rickard, that <laughs> is a uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Well, the, that the, hits. The scary thing about Remora is the fact that they just caught... All right, Ed. Are you ready for the thing I'm going to explain is the most painful thing you've ever experienced? Uh, sure, why not? All right. You take... That's a lot of dice... 20 points of piercing damage plus three points of fire damage. Cool, I'm almost bloodied. As this thing bites, I'll say, the, right here. It bites right here, buddy. What? I have a plan and you can't stop me. <laughs> Eat him off the cliff. That's what I wanted you to do. No, Lauren, I have a... I couldn't do it before, but I can do it now. Okay, now. So, uh... As, as Stonk is kind of holding one in his hand, like, like you can't touch me, you just see Rickard. Is he, like, screaming? How's he handling this? Because you just you just got munched, and... Yeah. That, yeah, basically that. You just got munched. It stings. It burns. It's a very angry baby. One left at a time. Yeah. All right. Never. I'm just going to say this right now, so I... Uh... Help out Back up to Slane. Yeah, that's I'll what I was trying to do. I'll deal with this. Uh, no, I'm trying to figure Slane. out something real fast. Don't worry Stop's about. Fine. Don't worry about record. I got this. All right, I can't I wait to see one. Do. If you kill it, I can't do it. Then I'm sad. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill it. Cuts record from okay. the rope. Came so, at the Remoraz fall to their deaths. Uh, I'm going to. Since that works. I, I was already going to me. ignore you. You are fine. You don't actually need me. Uh, one, that's true. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. What's our move speed on this? Uh, or is it uh, is it in record space? Or this, is it... this is technically so. This is up and down. The records here and the rimmer is here. They're technically on the same space. Okay, but that's just the only place I can. Um, move I okay. So it'll be regardless. <laughs> I think he has enough space. Yeah, I can move that. it there. I yeah. just it just looks weird right now. Yeah, so. it's hard to. Hit. Show three It'll be hard space. to hit it because it is right between a wall and Rickard. That's fine. Um, so I would like to try and hit it with my spiritual weapon. Nevertheless, 
<laughs> Natural 17 for a 24 to hit. All right, that hits. Uh, I'm going to drop my favorite foe on this one and put it on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's going to take... Um, one, wow. Two, two. Six points of force damage. Um, and then as my action... I would like to cast Guiding Bolt at, let's go second level, just for funsies. Mm-hmm. Don't miss or hit the bears. Don't miss or hit the great way of Natural 15 for a 22. That hits. Uh, one. Five. Rickard, you feel a massive, like, pressurous explosion by your foot as Lene, uh, Guiding bolts your oh, kneecap. Okay, so that's 11. Mm. No, wait, no. 11, 15, 16, Do you 19. Do on every attack? Every attack. Okay. Six, wait. So this was 11, 15, 15 16. 16, 19, 21 points of radiant damage. Um, and next attack against it has advantage. Okay. Um, goddamn, goddamn. DPS clerics are my favorite. Man, I love having, like, a two-handed weapon <laughs> while climbing. Me <laughs> still. Um, yeah, it's not like Stomp is completely viable with just his fists. <laughs> yeah, because of you ruling rage works on that. I, uh, I, and Smite, I don't care. I have, yeah. I have no regrets. Uh, uh, also, that that is not what I'm really using to beat the shit out of this yeah. guy. I just right, need one so free that was your turn. Up yeah. next, Elric, Elric, and Baylor. Okay. I'm going to say uh, that every time. <laughs> now that you can. The real first session. Quicken spell. Okay. I would like it to make me a strength saving throw DC 15. Or perish. Oh, I rolled a four. Um, so I can I how much my move speed first? Because I do have to move first. You it's five you you can only move five feet and you gotta do the athletics check to go up. Uh can I go sideways? Yes. Uh we've established it's on the record square, right? Yes. So he's fifteen feet away from me. Yep. Just fifteen feet. Uh it fails. It moves. 10 feet closer, uh, and then takes 2d8 lightning damage. This is oh, lightning. lightning. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, do you get an attack of opportunity because it did just leave No, because it's force no. movement. Uh, it takes 5 <laughs> lightning damage. What am I going to do? Um, and then For like, one damage? It was being pulled by my lightning whip. The lightning whip dissipates at the end of the spell. It's no longer being held. Okay. As it's Right there. In the air. In the air. Um, you are technically pulling it under, because you are under him right now. Uh-huh. So I'll I'll say it will that have was my to make bonus a check action. to grab the wall. Okay. But does it have to do it now? Uh it'll do it on its turn. Okay. Oh it's currently action. against the wall. Action. Are you gonna kick it? I can use a gust cantrip. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to blow it five feet away from the cliff. All right. So as you run, you pull it towards um, you. You see the little remoras flip around as it tries to make grab another the cliff, strength and save. And you're just like no, and you just woof. make a strength save. Oh no, it's okay. a seventeen plus shit. Okay, so oh. the gust doesn't do shit. So you pull it away, but Gosh. it's able to it flip was itself almost around useful. and grab onto the wall. His life. <laughs> that was so close. It is now looking at you. Can still have disadvantage? <laughs> you fucked it up. It, it just, its whole life. Its Did it whole, make it save to Its uh, whole five second life. Yet. Its whole five second lifespan has flashed before its eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I've used two of my five source reports for today. Okay. Perfect. Up next is... Stop. Stoink. Uh, yes. Uh, how is my Rimuraz looking? Uh, fine. Okay. Do I take any more damage because I'm still grappling? Uh, this is a creature that touches it. Mm-hmm. He's still touching it, it, so yes. He, he, he never let go of it. Nah, I didn't. Uh, you take four points of fire damage, reduced to two. Oh no. Oh no. However, will he survive? I don't know. Uh, I would like to uh, reckless Shut smack up. this bitch into a wall. Shut mm-hmm. up. Uh, Are you doing the thing, you know when you kill a fish, you just gotta... Yeah, beat yeah. its head against it, kill it really quick. Yeah. He's trying to do it mercifully, but he might cause oh, it to explode. T- non natural 20 to That hit. hits, but I looked at the three and I was like, ooh. Yeah, so that's uh, five points of just unarmed. Are you reclessing? Yeah, that was reckless. Oh, okay. 
Um, Did you reckless before? No. No, oh, wait, no, you didn't. I didn't need to because, yeah, yeah rage. Um, but that was an attack. Did you that lightning lure was advantage? It's a save. Oh, okay. Save. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to shove again, or at least try it. So it needs to make an acrobatics or athletics. Oh. God damn it. 13. I'm rolling bad. 14. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding Yeah, me. this thing has a high strength because it's technically not a baby. It's just, it's just <laughs> holding on to your arm. Like, <laughs> no, you'll say that for this <laughs> tiny little thing, it is oddly strong. It has 18 strength. <laughs> and I've been using strength saves against it. <laughs> I rolled shit. I'm well, just gonna keep, uh, you know, every turn I'm gonna beat it against the wall. How much damage did you do? Uh, just five. Just or, no, seven. Seven Sorry, damage? Rage. Don't worry, I have sacred flame. It is just letting out little, like, mm. insect yes. screeches right Fire. now. Fire. It is flailing around. You are disturbed. I just want to die. Yeah, you you, you all aren't more. super familiar with insects. This thing could be a demon for all you fucking know. Wow, you found something more annoying than Slane that's latched onto you. I will dash you against the wall if you don't stop. You know what you gotta do is you gotta hold on to the rope, you gotta set the anchor above you, you just gotta swing out and then turn your back to the wall. And <laughs> Wait, no! Stop it. No, 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 As a person who took a lock cutting class, I know the yeet your partner maneuver. Huh? <laughs> The yeet. yeet your partner maneuver. <laughs> All right, so like, I don't want to be yeeted. Uh, up uh, next. next turn, Rickard. Rickard. Hi, Rickard. I got rid of your friend, who right. is may or may not be falling to your death. And you can, if you could do anything to make sure they can't grip on, that'd be swell. You're still recovering from your leg just burning, but you're okay. Yeah, I mean, I. It's like an STD. Yeah. <laughs> Almost every one of my spells is like, "Hey, here's a uh, visual illusion," or. I can move a bit better, or I can speak languages better, <laughs> or I can set fires. Or I can use my two-handed bow. <laughs> on a mountain. Where you have to hold the side. No, you could just choose to drop down the 20 feet. You could hang, dangle by your harness, you just wouldn't have any control. Or just say, fuck it, and keep climbing. Yeah. <laughs> you know cast, what? You can uh, cast fly. I'm gonna cast spider climb. <laughs> and, uh, with that... I'm just standing up on the side of the cliff face. Uh, both hands are now free. I'm <laughs> <laughs> posing on the cliff. I'm <laughs> on the side of the cliff. Uh, sadly, that's my action. But so next turn, I'll be able to do something cool. Oh, yeah. So now you notice that as Rickard just stands up on the on the cliff side. <laughs> Which I, you you are just which? like it. It must be the air I'm hallucinating. <laughs> I can do this for I'm an so hour. sorry. We actually have. Things that are going on today, so I should have rolled. No, this is a different day. Or no, this, this is the is same day. Same day? No, no it's different a different day. day. Oh, it's a different day. Yeah. It's, been my, it's been multiple you days. You guys found the dead body. Yeah, yeah. I, I stopped rolling for the days that don't matter. This is a combat day. Yeah. 25 1. I don't think it really matters okay. that much. I think you're a little nauseous. Yeah. Little, of course, I am. To pukey. be fair, even if you're a little pukey, being shaken up and down on a mountainside might do it for you. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, yeah. You're just gonna you're, you're just gonna, a little. You're gonna like stonk's gonna be climbing, you're like, stonk, wait, wait, and you just feel the vomit just fall behind you. <laughs> no, no, I don't I, I do aim my head away, but it is I have to With look. the wind? You have to do you have to do calculus. Yeah. You're doomed. You vomit, it's getting on everyone. Oh boy. <laughs> and it freezes instantly. Yeah. <laughs> it's weak. It doesn't smell. But that's nice. <laughs> it's also become sleet. Projectiles. Yeah, also your really bland food is what you're vomiting up to. You have a you have a breath weapon. <laughs> uh, mm, Acid. Mm, <laughs> white bread, my favorite. <laughs> Alright, whose turn? Uh yours. Baby Remoras. Alright, there's one about to fall to its stuff. Please oh, fall. It, it does need to make that save now. Okay. Please please fall to your death. So you wanna do decks for that? I'd say decks. Yeah. Oh, that well, doesn't count. That wasn't in my thing. Because Dex is all about can you react and come to grab it. It doesn't matter because we <laughs> Can you roll 26 fall damage for the meme? <laughs> I want to know if it lives. It, it actually falls. might. <laughs> um, it, it might, but there's also a chance it goes... I'll save my last favorite budget. It takes 62. 62 damage. That's as much as it needed to die. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, as as you uh, lightning lure it towards you, it attempts to like grab onto the wall. You gust it away and it's like butt flies away, but it still tries to grab onto the wall. But inevitably the wind sweeps it up and it just kind of 
<laughs> does it? Does it? Uh, you know the little Pokemon who tries to jump to fly? Does it have that experience for a solid twenty feet? The Lulu. You, you don't yeah. even see it splat on the ground. You just see it fall into the white abyss. And we hope it dies. Yes. yes. We know in our hearts it died. Nothing could survive that fall. Sure. So even though Stomp would survive that fall. All right. Easily. It is uh, now that one's turn, which is once again going to attempt to fight Stomp with advantage. advantage yep. That's a natural 20. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. damage, please. I'm going to mark that down. All right. Natural 20. So this is what I'm rolling on the first one. That is a 20 bumped up to 40, brought back down to 20. Okay. 20. Oh, no. The uh, fire damage is now going to do six fire damage reduce. Well, no, because it's also a dice roll. So, so it's up six. to 12, so it's up 26 total. 26 I'm use total. My reaction to Stone's Endurance. Just, ow. Uh, that's 14 reduced from 26 to 12. All right. So I'll say at this time, as, as you're wrangling it, it God, you're right <laughs> into you, right into your forearm, it just gets a good bite and it holds on for your life. Oh God! You understand why Rickard was crying. Ow. Does it see its companions fall to its doom and be like, oh. "No, it doesn't care." It doesn't care. No. It was it was hatched somewhere else. And it's an insect. If it's not them. itself, it doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Unless they're a hive mind, in which case, oh god, no, fuck. they're not. Don't worry. <laughs> is the mama going to stop the rumor? <laughs> oh, if there, if this was an adult rumor, is he going to be fucking dead? Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, we're on a fucking cliffside. <laughs> and rumor has, adult rumors are a CR eleven. Yeah. I, what I like about the cl- cliff climbing thing is I can throw significantly easier enemies at you, but it, we also have the obstacle of climbing. Of climbing, climbing, which I really like. Well, and that's why. I'm glad I have a piggyback. We're in uh, acid, all grappled by the mountain. Huh? Gra- we're all grappling the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> You're holding on for dear life. All right, back up to, to Flané. Flané. Well, we're gonna- How, how's Stonk reacting to the pain? I know he stones endurance, shrugged it off, but is Ow. he just gritting his teeth? <laughs> yeah, gritting it. Uh, this is Stonk. Stonk's getting a new tattoo. I'm uh, going to attack star. the Remoraz. Uh, I'm not going to mark it as my favorite Trouble enemy, on. just in case we have another combat. How are you for- attacking it? With the spiritual weapon. Yep, okay. Love spiritual weapon. It's the best. I cannot wait for it to get nerfed in one D&D. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't like the fact that that's a listen, set, an 11 to listen, hit? Listen, Josh. 11 does not backwards hit. backwards compatible. They can't undo anything. Um, oh. Let's oh, see. They better. they better just nerf spiritual weapon into the I, I mean, Spiritual weapon can't crit. Right, nothing can crit. Nothing. Sneak attack can't crit. I don't understand why nothing crits. That that confuses me. I'll cast a first level guiding bolt. Basic, DMs can't crit. <laughs> basic weapon player attacks can crit. Yeah, I'm of the opinion. I'm okay. Minions not critting, that's fine. Big bad evil guys absolutely should crit. Um, so I'm in melee combat technically with yes. this. So I made this at disadvantage. How does a 23 to hit sound? That hits. Okay. That was only a first level guiding. Does that count as a? Type? It's still a range spell. Okay. But I am doing it in melee range. So however it's, you want to rule it, it with states, that. Or hits it with a melee attack while within five feet of it. That was not a melee attack, and you're not touching it. None of my stuff has been melee. I'm not touching you. Okay. Well, there goes that. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. That's gotta be the god. worst guiding bolt I wow. think I've Six. ever seen. Six. And I've seen you in fucking points. Freshman year doing guiding damage. bolt. Yeah. I'll say that, that as horrible. as you hit that that um guiding bolt, <laughs> at least it, <laughs> you you're like, oh shit, I'm gonna Fair. hit stonk, and you kind of like point a little bit away, and that guiding bolt just flies off into the distance. <laughs> no, I do the damage. No, it, you oh, okay. do the damage, but it like brushes up against. Okay. But next attack still has advantage on it. Yes, you still hit it. So how much damage was that? Six. Wow. <laughs> With 4d6. Six. That six. of nothing. All right, I next. Do. My unarmed attack does who's, more damage. I who's know. next? Uh, Elric, Elrickson, Baylor. I could just end the, the party if I wanted to. No, don't do it. Shatter. No. Dead. I could. Yeah, you could. I, th- I, think, I think our fallen corpses would... Probably actually pose you some significant threat in the mm-hmm. event of a shatter. I think uh, I would be fine. Could you personally do me a wisdom just saving cast throw? Cast blink and a hope that it works before I cast the ground. All the dead. Natural twenty. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang. Do I have any bonus actions? 
do I? Come on, you're you could use a free action to cry. Spell. Oh, okay. I could. I could cast Shane Lightning at you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this is how we found out Tyler was secretly the BBEG nah. all along. Y'all, y'all got. Oh, no. Wait. Bonus action. Stonk. Take a shield of faith. I Plus don't. Two to my AC. I don't think this helps, but I actually might have it. Plus two to my AC. Is your AC eighteen now? It's up to eight. Okay. Now. Uh, is that your turn then? Yeah. Okay. My turn. You have uh, advantage on this first one. I have advantage on this first uh, one where I'm just gonna beat him against a cliff. Uh, thank God for that. Um, twenty one to beat him against the cliff. <laughs> All right. You can always just shove him. I know. But I, I think it's way more entertaining to keep beating bum, him bum, against bum. the cliff. And I need to take the damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you take... I mean, yeah, I think uh, you take ten enough. points reduced to five. Do you take damage on every attack or just every turn? Uh, just every turn. Yeah, every time you touch it, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that might be a attack. Uh, natural oh. 20. Uh, 27. 27 damage? If that's no, no, no. It's a contested shove. Oh, can you beat 27? If it rolls a nat 20. No, I rolled an 8. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, after this time, I beat him against the cliff, and then I, like, with just, like, one really big uh, throw, I just toss him off. And, and you just see it spin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this time he's, like, a little bit more dazed from the, the beating against the cliff, and so he lets go as I'm... You don't Throwing even you don't even hear the Wii, you just kinda <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna boomerang back around. Wee. You don't hear the Wii, but we it hits the, the ground so hard you hear the <laughs> Do you want me to roll the damage for yes. that one too? Yes. Well, I sure. wanna know if this is a big bad who's gonna find us one day. It takes sixty nine damage. Nice. nice Does it die from the knife? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, Good. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a cure wounds on Stomp. That would be smart. Um at second level. Just, just for funsies. Nope, no heal for you. You're, you're not within ten to close range for me, um, and I don't really want to waste a healing word. It's okay. I also use an action to do lay on oh. hands. Oh, do you want to hear what you heal first beforehand? I take five healing. Huh? All right, now you can heal me. Okay. Because stocks are also a healer. Uh, so fifteen points of uh, healing for you. Ah. Seventy-seven, which is almost. Whenever max. you get close enough that I can reach out and touch you, because it eventually will probably happen. I use a third level. I have spider climb for an hour. Okay, yeah. So if you want to get close to me, we're just just walking up the wall. Yeah, this this suddenly became almost a non-issue. Like it's still not easy. It's ice, but it's like oh, you damn. got almost max. 16, 23, 23 plus, plus 4, 27 20, healing. That heals. To be fair, you're a spider climber, but you're also full now. one of your legs got bitten with 20 damage. Well, now it's yeah. gone. Yeah, I, I, you've never been better. That, you, that might not even scar at this point. I'm sure Stomp could attest that those were the worst. You know, I'll catch up to you. They were quite painful. I'm like reaching out. <laughs> While you're just like walking up the cliff next to me, I'm just like, yeah. You notice that, like, <laughs> while no one's looking, Stunk like just kisses it. I'll be good. I'll be good. I, I, oh, I have my bow. I'm sorry. I am <laughs> on Stunk. There's no way I don't notice that. <laughs> Actually, do I notice you healing yourself with lay on hands? You already knew that that happened. Or maybe keep in mind, lay on hands yeah. is yeah. technically not a spell; it's a class ability. So yeah, all you would I, see is that Stunk just kind of like <laughs> feels a little bit better. He just looks better. He just like strokes his arm, and he's like, "Okay, I'm good." Ego boost. He's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I stroke the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just touch your halberd just to make yourself feel good. <laughs> stroke the halberd shaft. But yeah, I've got my bow out, and I am on guard in case yeah. more of the fuckers I come. I also have my crossbow out because I'm. Not actually climbing in the event something comes out as well. All right. Survival check for everyone once more. Survival. Well, when I say everyone, I mean one person in that song. And they have guidance. No. Yeah, this is like a group survival yeah. check. Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh. That is the second nat 20 Whoa. in a row. All right. Uh, that's a 23. 
with your nat 20 survival check, you know that you're getting to the point where hypoxia is even becoming a concern for you. Um, your hometown is significantly uh, lower actually, than this. Uh, according to uh, the Goliath's uh, page, uh, it's specific- you need to breathe oxygen. Shut the fuck it up. It specifically says uh, that I don't suffer the penalties for being in high altitudes. <laughs> you don't suffer penalties, but still, like, so if we take you out of the atmosphere, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, because uh, that's high altitude. <laughs> really I'm in outer space. space. Space is just the highest. <laughs> <laughs> Climbs up to to the uh, all the way up to the world tree. Technically, I'm at a high altitude. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, the moon is so high. <laughs> My God! All right, so no, nah, no, nah, I get it. You would know that that is going to become a huge concern at this time. Um, however, I'm assuming you you alert people of the symptoms. Okay. Yes. All Are right. Goliaths related to tardigrades? <laughs> <laughs> How far Goliaths are the ideal tardigrade for? <laughs> How far an extremely <laughs> elderly man going through withdrawal symptoms handling this? Um, there's a reason I'm not climbing at this point in time. Every time he starts panicking, I knock him out. Yoda. He's Yoda. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> so you guys are really only able to climb for, like I said, two to six hours of the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm are you guys doing? Normally. What are you guys doing when... In the off time, uh, if you're talking at all. I assume Elric wants to talk to me when we're alone. Oh, so yeah, we've got a... conversations that need to happen. Oh, yeah. yeah. So during a, do you want me to do one that? of the many yeah, watches, okay. when Elric and Slane are alone, all right. you can have that one. Why was Slane the question in there? He said Slane so questioningly. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Do you have a backup character I need to know about? No. Okay. Um, hey Josh, yeah. Can, can you donut me? There's your donut. Thank you. Anyone else want donut? No, I'm good. No, I'm good. I have candy. But this is also for later as well. Give one to Ed. Let's add them. Would you like a Reese's peanut butter cup? Actually, would you like the whole bag? Mm-mm. Would you like us to scrape off the peanut butter and give it to you? <laughs> we have a whole can. Of we peanut have butter. four. Why do we have four jars of peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why don't you have four jars of peanut we butter? We cleaned out the pantry do. today, and we had four oh. jars of peanut butter. Oh. Three of them had not been opened. <laughs> How many? I haven't bought peanut butter this whole time. Honey. Yeah, but you also lied about the sour cream thing. How can we trust you? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, that wasn't me. <laughs> Tyler, I, I have to bring this to you. She's been holding on to that one yeah. for a while. Yeah. Well, my hypothesis is I did leave the spoon in on the counter, and you saw it, and then, oh, I'll put this in the fridge. Yeah, I put it in the fridge knowing it was you. That's not how this works. No, listen, my you set a booby I was trap about to go to work. You don't just put open sour cream in the fridge. You don't just leave sour cream out. Well, that's a to mistake. Get- that's an act of malicious choice. <laughs> Together, both of you have committed the war crime in this apartment. I had to go to work. I saw sour cream on the table. I'm like, oh shit, that shouldn't be here. And then I ran to work and I forgot about it because I have the memory of a goldfish. You should work on that. I am. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, flashcards can only do so much. <laughs> Sour cream in the fridge. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. No, it's a core memory, actually. Yeah, it's a core memory associated with disgust. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. A little bit of sadness. Conversations. Yes. First is Rick or Elric and Sonai? Yeah. Okay. Uh, unless Ricks. you want to have a group conversation about what happened first. Yeah, so we, we can basically, I'll allow I'm assuming you guys, some of these conversations probably happened a while ago. Yeah, that's yeah. What, what I'm saying right now is you. we can have these conversations and we can assume and you guys can decide how many days apart they are. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, not, this climb has is taking around a month to complete. Yeah, yeah. So you I'm guys assuming we weren't silent for a month. So about that time, a month You ago. maybe needed a, a day to process these feelings. Yeah. We're, so, we're, we're doing montage do time we, here. Yeah. Do we want to have <laughs> the group conversation first? Or break into fashion. Or then tack it. Or have the Slane Elric conversation first. Or if any other conversations need to happen. Or are you guys going to yell at Rickard first? That's the group. The, the group Rickard, conversation Rickard is the Rickard conversation. Yeah, got it. Um, Rickard call out post or individual conversation? If you do the group conversation, Stonk's not going to participate in it. Okay. Much. Like, he'll be in the back line, but he's not going to be 
the main force against Rickard. Yeah. Rickard doesn't really have a choice in the matter. So yeah. if you guys want to have your conversation first, okay. because I want to have a conversation with Rickard in private. Like we're going to leave the room private, or? I Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Uh, it's we'll up to you guys. Okay. I'll, let, I'll let you come up with that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the, the Elric Slane wants to have people. It's, it's a, what do you, what do you Honestly, know? this could have happened, the, your conversation could have also happened on the same night. Cause oh, yeah. Watches. watches. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Was it not cathartic to eat baby centipedes off a cliff? If, it was pretty. Um, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more cathartic if I had done it the first time. <laughs> waste two rounds doing it. This is a very angry boy. I really he wanted was. to cast Shatter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You guys realize we've got to climb back down this mountain. Elric's intrusive thoughts, you know how people are just like, you just drive in the middle of the road, it's just like, just kill everybody, just do it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the, ba- the Baylor had the audacity to tell me that Stonk could kill me on a whim. Well, well, well. <laughs> on the turn the turn table. table. <laughs> okay. The worst thing is, if you didn't betray Stonk like that, he probably would have survived. He would have <laughs> been pissed. Honestly, Sonny <laughs> might have even survived that too. It's entirely possible. It depends on what's I, I also on. could have maxed yeah. damage, which still would have done shit to you. And I could, I would have enough time to cast Cure Wounds upon myself before the inevitable ground hits. That wouldn't stop the ground damage. If 69 damage would take you out. It would, but you if, also have lay on hits. Oh yeah, 5 HP. There well, that's all I think. <laughs> assuming you are doubled. <laughs> Anyways, conversations. Conversations. Uh, Do you want to start it or should I? Slanae's not going to start this conversation. <laughs> Hey Mocha. Hey Mocha. So, where do you stand in all this? And I gestured to. You were there for the end of that conversation. You didn't have context, but you were there. I'll um, keep an eye on her. Don't worry, I can tell she's up to something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a little bit more context. Do you also worship that demon? No. No. And frankly, quite hurt that you would insinuate something like that. Your old man is a follower of him, and your 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 leader gets possessed like a puppet. It'd be honestly a bit strange if you weren't. Your old man? My your leader? I'm sorry. Okay. Old man, like one third your age. Your leader. Stonk. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Kavi became the leader of the three T's and Kelly was like, no, no. <laughs> On, it, it's appropriate for yeah. Kavi, though. Um, Tarot so could be the leader. A couple but this of is things yeah. are very wrong with that statement. First and foremost... Stonk is, well, everyone in this party is using everyone as a means to an end. And what is your end that you would use those? Well, finding my god was my means to an end for them, and now I'm kind of just along for the ride. Do you know what that ride is? Because it sounds like they fucking don't. Uh... No, and, uh, we, the, we're rapidly going down a hill. It's not slowing down. Well, are you ready for a demon incarnate to be in the same room as you? It's happened once. It's not the first time. More likely than you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Yeah, honestly, it's not the first time. Thinks about Tavi. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about Tavi. Yeah, I, about I'm thinking about the the giant oh, yeah, Mikhail. and Mikhail. And those were our near death experiences. Yeah. and you just have that. Yeah. And you're fine with that. You have no plans to do anything about it. I take a look around, Elric. What exactly would you propose we do? 
with a demon problem in the middle of nowhere where apparently at a whim he can be possessed how long have you known this you were with your god but what two days ago you could have asked him then and there how to deal with it I, I had a lot more important things on my mind like the fact uh, he was missing for uh, quite a long time the emotions kind of flooded back this motherfucker slapped his own god and got away with it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a man like you could have told me at the onset but that fucker did tell me he <laughs> did tell me <laughs> <laughs> He didn't tell me he was just possessed. Yeah. I didn't think this was that big a deal. I thought this dude was just like, oh, I get a letter in the mail, letter in the mail every now and then. And he tells me to go uh, yeah. kidnap babies. Oh. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> but no. Kidnap babies. For quite cheat a while, on your you wife. A voice in your head. <laughs> yeah, for a little while. Yeah. I, I've, I've known for quite some time about both of them. And did you know you were being watched constantly by a demon who knows your every move and what you do? That one's new, but also I'm just gonna gesture to Rickard. Kind of, kind of assumed that was already the case. <laughs> you just didn't know it was like in... I didn't realize it was in his eye, but also Rickard's around. Yeah. For, so we're just going to have two demon worshippers just travel up to a death mountain with us. If I, I, you make it seem like that's the greatest heresy in this entire group. <laughs> <laughs> and there's worse. Yes. Care to elaborate? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> elaborate. You want to roll? Are you? Are you? I'm sorry. Are you trying to frighten me right now? Listen, I'm a charisma person. Are you trying to frighten me right now? Mark me down as uh, gay and <laughs> <laughs> I have plus four to intimidation. Am I? I, I guess is. Are you? I, he's I not you dra- to okay. threat a force. He's saying I need to know. You this. don't have to roll okay. a con- contesting. Yeah. Okay. Just depending on how high he rolls, you can. I, I have a rough DC in my head. It's like I'm not going to hurt you, but you're being a dick. Fucking tell me. I'm stuck with you people, and you're keeping, like, the murder secrets in this back pocket to surprise me. <laughs> Tell me a surprise information that you'll love. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking no. Sorcery point. <laughs> another one. Okay. 18. <laughs> if that was another one, that would have been beautiful. Oh I God. honestly... Uh, Air starts swirling about me angrily. Calm down. No need to get violent. No. No need to get violent. Um, where to begin with the heresies we have committed? Well, well it all started... In the bathhouse. In the bathhouse. I, <laughs> Listen, I didn't Actually, say... I don't give a shit about your heresies. I said the worst heresies. Oh, the worst heresies? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Both bearings might count. <laughs> like, that is, you know that, what? That is Slade's first thought is, okay, here's a Harris. I should make a shirt that say what happens in the bathhouse stays in the bathhouse. <laughs> Only, um, I'd even give Matt, like, a, that shirt. <laughs> so, um, I'm, first and foremost, ball bearings. One of the greatest heresies we committed because it sheerly defies the gods. Committed or witnessed. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> Secondly was the murdering of an entire church of Tevesta. Almost an entire church. The Yeah, missed the, missed one of those. Yeah, we met well well I 
the one who was advocating for her survival, is no longer with us. Um, Killed him, too. Yeah, he, he's dead. Um, <laughs> Are you going to tell him? Nope. I'm just, <laughs> just going to leave the Mikhail out of it. Technically not our heresy. Um... I like how I'm like, what danger am I actively in? Like, here's all the bullshit we did earlier. Yeah. Um, let's see. Stonk told you he killed the king, right? Yeah. I'm not saying that one. Um, okay. That's not mine to share. All right. Thank you. Um, it's not my tea to spill. It's Look, I'm sharing my own tea that I'm allowed to spill. Right. Um, let's see. Um, active endangerment. Uh, Andor shouldn't be a problem anymore. Um, do I do what the fuck that means? What the fuck is Andor? Yeah, not my tea to spill. That's something I wish the party uh, had more of. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna respect your boundaries. I'm gonna anyway. respect your boundaries. Anyways, what's up with your horns? <laughs> um, let's uh, see. I did not expect there would be such a strong reaction to that tea. I'm gonna be honest. Let's see. What else? We're um, still dealing with the fallout of that. I know. <laughs> Acts of heresy. We've also in co- been in communication with Draconics. Yeah. You kind of go, oh. I shit. think that's the last bit of heresy I could think of that's truly heretical. I'm gonna just glance over the fact I tried to start a war between two churches. Yeah, you could also mention it's not really heresy. But that's you a big, know he uh-oh. worships Ingvald. You guys did fight under Ingvald, and Stonk did bet his life on that game. That's not really heresy, That's but not you, important. You know it was disingenuous. It's not important. It, what Ingvald also, doesn't know won't hurt him. The question him. that yeah. provoked us is, um, yeah. this is a problem we need to deal with. Oh, there are bigger problems. Like, yeah. how are these immediately relevant here? Your focus on just the demon is, um, well, well-meaning, not the only problems we have, I guess. And what are you doing about that? Honestly, kind of writing it out and seeing how they destroy themselves. <laughs> Climbing a mountain? Going to get wishes granted from Ingvald? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I thought that was yeah. clear. <laughs> Why else are we here? <laughs> okay, but... If only to suffer. <laughs> in my mind, we got two evil motherfuckers and you're giving them wishes. That's not helping the problem. Um, well, it's counterbalanced by two good motherfuckers with wishes. Oh, I, I take offense to that. One good wish and whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Decidedly neutral. <laughs> neutral at best. Chris, chaotic good. <laughs> I... I initially meant for Slade to be chaotic good, but this party no, slowly brought him down to neutral. Yeah. You can't be fully good in some universes, unfortunately. <laughs> you are well-intentioned. Slade has the best of intentions, but cannot execute them correctly. Yes, it is true. Anyways. Meanwhile, Stonk is the opposite. He has terrible intentions, but they're executed properly. Yes. Somehow it makes him look good, even yeah. though everyone in this party knows he's not. <laughs> everyone knows what Stark's all about, and yet he just keeps getting Literally, away all, with all it. of Eldergar and Brubik are like, yeah, Stark, woo, and you guys are like, no! No, stop cheering! <laughs> no, you don't know what the fuck he just did! You have no idea! Stop cheering! Um. Yeah. So, so there's nothing to be done. At the moment, no. For better you have any ideas. or for worse. Turn the question on. I have long since run out of ideas. Turn the question on. So what would you do? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, it, it was bound to happen. I know. Well, first things, I would not let a demon spy on us. <laughs> I'm sorry. And in what capacity would you do that in? Cast counterspell at second level. <laughs> That's not even how that works! You can downcast. <laughs> it just lasts for two seconds and it breaks your heart. <laughs> Are you opening the window? 
trying to. I can, I can do it. I got it. I got it. You got it. Would, okay. What would you? And how would you propose that's done? Huh. This looks goofy. It's <laughs> interesting. Well, <laughs> it's both. If a demon sees to Stonk's eye, mm-hmm. don't let him use that eye. And let him use the pink eye at all times. The one that's... Have I... You've been wearing an eye patch this whole time, yeah? No. No. No? You've seen his other eye. It's quite... We could say canonically you asked him about it and he did the pink eye excuse and you tried to give him tea. I think I can remember that. I think that is actually... Yeah, that that sounds like... (laughs) It's quite unsettling. And... It's actually happened for Pinta. Yeah. <laughs> Did, do I know Agma? Uh, I'm sorry, what? Agma? Agma? Ag- that is worse uh, than... Uh, somehow uh, you did it worse uh, than me. <laughs> you didn't even try. <laughs> Listen, I don't know her. Yeah, she, she's one of the big ones. The, the five... The, there are three main gods, and then add two more to them for, like, the major gods, I guess. So there are three gods that are part of the Tempestist pantheon, and they're all siblings. And then there's ya- uh, Yaklama and Ahma, who are brothers and sisters who were born in other ways. So that they're they're special. Voice. They're te- they they are equivalent to Jotun without actually being yes. Okay. Y- Jotun. Jotun. Proper Jotun. Jotun. That's what I'm saying. Jotun. 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 <laughs> Jotaro. No, no. J- Jotun. Is better. Jotun. It's it's the Joske. It's the the, 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 the skip of the U. Just Jotun. You, you just skip over the ton. Jotun. It's Jotun. It's like y'all. Y'all. I, Jotun. Sorry, the T just Jotun. doesn't work for me. Um. Anyways, how, it's not Jotun. Jotun. You, it's Jotun. <laughs> You've Jotun. seen his eye. Jotun. For better or Jotun. for worse. I'm putting off one syllable. <laughs> for better or for worse, the demon eye is easier to pass off. Where do you think we're going? Where they would care about such things? I gesture to the mountain we're on. Um, any way to draw less attention to ourselves as we are Draw less attention. We're going to a mountain where attention means everything. Yes. Attention. And you want less. In Ingvald's tournament, attention gets you focused. Attention gets you killed. Do you have a point? Well, what were you saying? I, I'm saying, when we go to Ingvald's tournament, the less attention we draw to ourselves before combat, the better. Yeah. Attention gets you focused. Yeah. Attention gets you killed. Right. That's a good call. <laughs> That is, that's very reasonable. You, I'll say this. As somebody who's familiar with the cheat teaching moves of Ingvald, you know he has a point. Because you know that tournaments like these are really a that's battle a of the coming. ego. You would know that, the, you, you actually recall a quote that people kind of recall from these events is that those who participate in his tournaments are prisoners to other people's judgments and desires to prove their own self-worth. So he's got a point. Some people are so desperate to prove themselves to a God that they're willing to die. I think there's no helping that bring a Goliath and a half to Ingvald's tournament. <coughs> Sorry, little one, but you're not exactly in your place here. Are oh. you saying it in the least, the least racist way that very racist sentiment can be said? Oh. So, so you you said that about halflings. What, what what's the? Okay, that's that's more fair. Yeah, I, I'm used to. I have no audience where there's no halflings, no goliaths anywhere. Right. Because the goliaths it's just are very, seen very favorably among Ingvald. The, it's the halfling that's going to draw the attention. Right. And you, there, there are going to be a lot of goliaths there, you could guess. There, there are significant, uh, 50% of Ingvald's worshippers are goliaths. 
that that one uh, statement put you one uh, cure wounds in debt. You're not going to get the next cure wounds. <laughs> <laughs> you might get one later, but not the Can next I one. I roll a religion to see, to see if what he just said is relatively accurate for roll. If it's not accurate, that wasn't meant to be inaccurate. That's me, the yeah. player, being stupid. It doesn't matter. I think that that goes to a 10, but let me double check. Three. Uh, no. Seven. What? <laughs> yeah, never mind. Look. <laughs> retract, retract the Goliath thing. Okay. I would have known not to say that. Yeah. You would be amazed at how rarely people look down. <laughs> I like that answer. Mm-hmm. If only Rickard was awake to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, 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 he's still mad. And he's not, he kind of isn't mad at you. He's mad in general. Um, Look, but I, he, he seems like he respects that answer. I get that you are not happy with the fact that two people here are. Actually, do I know oh, that? Oh, wait, wait. Who the fuck is this screaming? <laughs> They're having a good time, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> do, Woo, did yeah. I at any point over here that you had a connection to the Baylor? Uh, I don't actually. I know. think. Were you awake for the possession part? I was asleep for the possession. You woke up later. It yeah. was. I think you figured it out. Okay. You don't know the specifics yeah. of how. You don't know, but I know what you're happened. Connected. You know the Baylor is involved. Um. I get that you are uncomfortable with the fact that they're in communion with a demon. Not a demon. My demon. So why are you complaining? More <laughs> more to share? Not my fucking wanted demon, you little shit! <laughs> My family's demon, my ancestor. What? <laughs> I. It's a little personal, bro. I okay. <laughs> so, so you're upset with the fact that they are involved with your family demon, whatever that entails. Is it not? reasonable to at least deal with it until post Ingvald's tournament. Is an evil not a means to an end at the moment? Evil's never a means to an end. You ran into the lawful good character! Then I hate to break it to you. You will not last long in this group. Perhaps. Lawful good character wants to partake in lawful <laughs> evil tournament. <laughs> About murder. <We're>... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> lawful Look. good with a twist. He's He's already have, murdered someone. Just do what I am doing. After Ingvald's tournament, you never have to see any of us again. If you don't die. Stonk is more than capable. Huh. That's what I'm afraid of. Because he's not himself, you see. So there's a passenger involved. Not the passenger. A driver. Well... Burn that bridge when he's no longer in control. Oh, that bridge is on fire, my friend. I guess that's all I got. There you go. Good job. All right, who's next? It's you two. Oh, boy. I want to stay for this one way or another, Yotin. but... Yotin. Yotin. Let's this... talk about some Yotin. Is this the watch or the, the big chat? Uh, this is a watch. Okay. Yeah. Are we being banished? Yeah, well... You wanna banish them? I don't care. Okay, I don't <laughs> care either. If you plan on like disclosing if stuff. Anything super secret comes up, we'll banish you. Okay. Tyler, are you okay now. if you you and Chris go to your room? Yeah. Okay. 
I, I think I know all the most of the super secrets at this point either way. Probably. No? None of you know 100%. Yeah. Listen, Mikel I, knew shit. I'm putting Mikhail a lot together. Oh, absolutely I'm putting nothing, nothing together, but I have it all written mm-hmm. down. Chris is like one of those people who's like, you give him the puzzle piece, he sees the corner piece. They're like, I understand! <laughs> That's somehow, the corner! Somehow I come to the correct conclusion with all of the wrong assumptions. Yeah, meanwhile, Carrie just like reads my fucking mind and I'm like, whoa, whoa <laughs> you're, a new, you're a new player, stop, calm down. <laughs> Carrie and I left together is a dangerous combination. Yeah. No, you carry an Edison or a dangerous company. Because <laughs> you are like 10% right. Yeah. You're like 90% right, but you just go, you just take one U turn in the wrong spot. Ah. And Carrie just gets the right answer for no reason. Okay. <laughs> Somehow, we, we've all turned in our math tests. All of us have done very different formulas. Most of them are wrong. All of our answers are the same. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, fuck, I accidentally like. I accidentally forgot what one variable was. My whole answer is wrong, but the entire the entire problem of work is immaculate. Yeah, I <laughs> like I did the teacher geometry just writes. I wish I could give you an A on this, but you forgot a number. I, <laughs> oh, I give so much partial credit. Yeah, <laughs> you long divided this perfectly. You were supposed to multiply. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I've written an essay on the back. It's still come to the end. The correct number answer. Yeah. X equals... My astrologer says that today's a seven. four. <laughs> so clearly it's got to be seven is yeah. the answer. Okay. <laughs> have, have your chat. I think you should like get scissors and cut that before it unwinds the entire fucking Josh, thing. stop, stop, stop. Do it, do Don't it. fuck it up. No more. Oh, oh this. God. Can someone get me scissors? Yeah, just keep, keep going. Keep going. No, 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 that's not what I mean. I can't keep going with roleplay. I need scissors, 61. Keep going with roleplay, not destroying your, your dice bag. We can, we I'll can, take it. We can knit you a new one. <laughs> I think... Why, why, why do you want to take it? Here, I he's think distracted. This, I think we, we, Come we, on, give it back. <laughs> it's a really long story. <laughs> I, really mostly, I wanted to see how long, long it would get. Should have God. Done that. <laughs> I told you. Okay, start with your whole play. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Roll play. Roll yeah. play. Rick, are you initiating? I know, he is. Pretty dice. I'm going to say the dice I got you, right? When the Baylor took control. Uh, hold on. Could I request you speak up a little bit because you are on the other side table? When the Baylor took control, what did he say? What did he do? It wasn't here for the I know, I know. Uh, can you uh, I can, I can pull it up, yeah. Okay. So, um, basically what... Interrogated. Yeah, the, the Baylor basically um, approached... I can give you a couple of the quotes that might have stuck out to you. Okay. Um, he basically, he, it started out with, um, uh, the Baylor basically being like, Hey, so your, your family remembers my name. God damn. I thought you all fucking died. And then he also said that the people that get in his way suffer consequences. He said, you understand that stunk needs convincing. Halfling is nothing to him. Demon born is nothing to him. And the gods are nothing to him. Elric, however, concerns him. Uh, he mentioned that he, sh- that Elric should be afraid of the Goliath. Uh, he could fucking kill ya whenever he wants. Um, the Baylor also mentioned that he also taunted Elric quite a bit. Um, and eventually what ended up happening was the Baylor was wrapping up his big old speech and then he just collapsed and Stonk came back. Yeah, I, I relay all that. <laughs> Why would I hide any of that? If you if you want specific quotes of what he said about Stonk, in case Stonk is really curious about what the Baylor thinks of him, I'd like to do something real quick. Sure. Um, I'm gonna pull out my eye patch that I've mm-hmm. not worn for a while, uh, and I'm going to put it over my right eye okay. instead of my left. He's leaving his special eye exposed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I, I relay 
all that information to you because I was wordy and I don't want it to appear in the thing twice. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> no, I get it. Um, so, Elric concerns the Baver Lord? Yeah. I, I assume because direct descendant of the Baylor. But how? He doesn't fear gods, doesn't even fear me. But he's concerned about him. You. <laughs> the, the chronically ill tea boy? <laughs> he's got the little hat, the little ball that just goes up and down as he snores. I'm not 100% sure why either. Maybe Baylor is concerned that the car might hit him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe the Baylor is concerned that family might jog some humanity, as cliche as that sounds. Maybe. Maybe Elric knows more than we do. Almost certainly knows more than we do. But I genuinely couldn't tell you. Rickard refuses to believe that people aren't hiding shit from him. <laughs> I, it's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I must confess, I... Didn't really think about But now, if he has something on the Baylor, he's useful. Rickard, I must ask, how much hold does the Baylor have over you? A decent bit, but I am free to make my own choices. As of right now, I I completely believe the Baylor and you have the same goals. The Baylor has told me that you must succeed. You must win Ingvald's tournament, assumingly kill Ingvald. And the Baylor doesn't take chances. The Baylor knows. You must be capable of something. And I don't mean that in like a, I don't mean that in a condescending way. I mean I know I'm condescending this. a lot, but this time I'm I'm being genuine. <laughs> I was trying to do an intelligence check to see if the stock would think of this, but he does not. Um, he's too dumb. Haha, <laughs> the the power of running twenty intelligence oh. appears smarter than me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's clear to me that I don't have full control over my body. And the Baylor can probably see through my eye. Hence why I recovered him. Understandable. Do you know if it can hear or see or read? Sorry, I was paying attention to something Chris sent me. Uh, <laughs> can the Baylor see through me? Yeah, here me? probably. Yeah, pro- probably. <laughs> oh, most likely. So intuition about that was correct. I'll say that you you know for a fact that the curse or the connection between you and the Baylor starts with the eye contact. Probably see. I'm not a hundred percent sure if he could hear everything, but almost certainly see. He has the observant. Oh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you take that from Slum? <laughs> That's so me. Did he tell you how I met the Baylor? I don't remember. Did, did Who told you? The Baylor told you how, how they met? No, I don't How so. I met the Baylor no. myself. Uh, no. We were crossing over a lake. Our way to Elbert Bar 
right? Mm -hmm. There were some creatures on the ice, and the Could wind. you speak up a little bit? I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking at the same time. Stage whisper. And at the same time, we were warned not to look at the reflection. I saw something there. It turns out it was the Baylor. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> I think at the time, I believed he could be of use to me. But now, it's too much of a threat. Tell me, how did you meet him? Well, I actively seek them out. Frankly, tired of the malaise of my life. I wanted something interesting, something to really to both make my life easier and to do things nobody could, nobody can do. And just wait, just let it let it pass. Party bus, party bus, party bus. It's just wait. I'm waiting. Holy shit. Yo, the bailer's pissed. Is that from across the street, the party bus? No, they left. Okay. okay. Just wait till that car goes by. God, that's a noisy street today. Oh, yeah, it's a noisy street full of people. The okay, there you go. Small pee pee. Trying energy. to get away from the malaise of life yeah. and want something more interesting. Yeah, I want something more interesting and also. Do just, something. Just, just the pen reason of making my life easier. Has he done that for you? Yes. Absolutely. Of course, we. We're doing this. Climbing this ridiculous mountain. But overall, with everything I've received, I think I would do it again. Very well. I don't know the specifics the Baylor has in mind for you, but as far as I'm aware, you two have the same goals. I know that you. I know that you're. You have your reservations about being controlled, as anyone rightfully would. I'll see if I can talk to the Baylor to try to restrict that. I don't expect you to be successful. What I mainly. that Baylor promised me power. He's given none of it. And he's only threatened me. Some part of me expects you'll be seeing something very, very soon. I assume that that might be his ace in the hole, so to speak. Do you laugh in character <laughs> like that? <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 a psychopath, of course. Little he chuckle. Does. <laughs> I certainly hope he does. Because he continues to threaten me and control me. I am going to kill the Baylor. Understood. You can report that back to him. I will. Before you do that, please start with that, Baylor. We'll see. <laughs> okay. 
and C. Yeah. So <laughs> one of us has to die. <laughs> I'm sorry, old man, but you're very killable. <laughs> I I could just insta kill you. No say if you just die. All right. I would like fun. to have the big conversation. Are we now. having the big conversation now? Woo! I'm gonna go ahead and have all my spells ready. Or do we want to have one more scene of climbing before we jump into? Yeah, the you can do that. Conversation. Yeah. Rest, oh. rest time. Uh, we'll oh, yeah. have a long rest. I think probably. Yeah, long rest. I mean, this is also happening during the multiple days of climbing. Yeah. Uh, and then after the group conversation, if possible, I want to talk to Rickard. <laughs> okay. Everyone wants to talk to Rickard today. Imagine getting Rickard. Honk, honk. All right. Honk, honk. So, uh, please roll a survival check. I'll, I'll move all of my dice. Thank you. I was having fun making it I know. Ex- exponential. What are you doing? Why are you I rolling? I don't know. You said survival checks and roll. Natural, Natural 20. 20. Oh my god. Damn. Are we just instantly there? All right. <laughs> We're making three good time right The wind... Now. Becomes even fiercer, slicing and cutting through the thin air and snow. It whips up against your bodies as you cling to the icy walls. Your heads pound up against your skull as no matter how deep you try to breathe, very little oxygen enters your body. Your pace slows. You either keep climbing or drag everyone else down with you. If you die here, no one will ever find you. I would like everyone here to roll. I, uh, Yeah. Yes, if We're you if climbing. you die here, you will you will not be found. Your bodies will never be recovered. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like. I thought the... that Nat twenty would save us from death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, you're not dead yet. <laughs> I was like, oh, the wind dies down. I can cast fog cloud. Could everyone roll a percentile for me? Yeah. Oh, percentiles. Okay. Uh, is this an important day? Forty-seven. Go ahead and roll this percentile. Eighty-five. Five. Forty-three. I don't know. If- Higher is better, but I'm hoping it is. That's 40 and 3. So, 40-something? 47. 47. Oh, I was rolling my... 45 and 47. Oh, that was 40 and then a 3. I'll check that in a second. I think that's shaking hands and stuff. 1. 100. No, that's 1. Not 100. 1. No, that's 100. No, No. that's 1. Because that's 1. It'd be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 100. Slanae. This is 100. Yes. Because you are attached to Stonk's back, uh-huh. you are able to keep your breathing in check. Yay! <laughs> As for the rest of you... One is good? Yes. Oh, Why? boy. Everyone... Uh-oh. Because I had it written on here, the higher, the more symptoms you get. Oh. Ooh, so, I took an altitude sickness. So I just have... you guys, y'all get two symptoms. You get four. It makes sense that I get four because I am carrying this little shit. Yeah. The little shit. Like, so, does that reduce that little down weighs less than your six. halberd? Can you, you could make a case you only get three because no. you're a goliath. Could, uh, Can you I make each... a case for three instead of four? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you have three. Roll three d10s and you guys roll two d10s. Oh, boy. Well, let's do one person at a time now. Five. Well, what about one person at a time? Five? Yeah, six. Gonna do five, first. six. Seven, eight. One. Two, One, two, three, three, four, five. Okay, and then you said, what was it? Five and six. Five and six. Rapid breathing and shortness of breath. Oh. So just me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have asthma. <laughs> All right. Uh, five, ten and five. Oh, yeah. What? I, my condition. Oh, shit. I don't know what that does with this. Okay, well, we'll you pause. a condition on yes. top of this. Well, he's, we said he's chronically ill. <laughs> Why would you do this to okay, yourself? Okay, you're... That's really funny if you know the All right, with a five, you have uh, rapid breathing and wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> you also have asthma. <laughs> All right, so we're just like how... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. So I don't oh, know boy. if this will help with anything, but I do have lesser restoration. <laughs> you know, like, I'm fine. Ten, two, six. All right, ten, two, and six. Wheezing something, something. So ten, ten, two, shortness of breath. and six. Uh-huh. Yes. Shortness of breath, wheezing, and confusion. Oh, God. Um, like the spell confusion? You have disadvantage on your on your checks that require mental things now. Oh, that's fine. Can I? Including survival. survival. <laughs> oh, I'll just give it to someone else. Yeah, so. I'm also technically in the front. Right, I'm not so climbing. Those symptoms, play them out how you will. Uh, can I... <laughs> Okay. Would lesser restoration help? 
any of this? Or? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. I can't do that. So, I'll actually trigger as well. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. So do I it. will. Uh, I, I will cast. So you all are fucking wheezing, except for Selene. You're just kind of hanging. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> You're just like Yoda. So you I, I've checked the records. Okay. I just don't quiet. It doesn't say anything about oxygen. Okay. So okay. I'm, I'm not good. You're worried about yourself. But technically, I'm not like gonna hide so, and have zero oxygen and die. It's yeah. not like sickle cell. Yeah. All of your things removed. Just straight up casting lesser restoration three times on you. Wow. Because you you're my ride. I'd rather my ride not pass out. Three second level spells. Yeah. Okay. Shit. Okay. Uh, and I'll take it. No, I feel great. <laughs> and then... I feel nothing. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a question, though. You want to talk to Stunk before you just cast a bunch of magic on him? No. No. Hey, if this he, is, if he feels this better, is, I think Stunk will... This is bandages. This is in the acceptable area. We've already come yeah, to an agreement yeah, about we, this. We, we just make, just make yeah. sure. If it was, like, some sort of... Because Stunk is familiar with healing spells. I'm not sure how yeah. we feel about restoration. Lesser restoration Stunk, is Stunk a healing that. spell. Stalk yeah. and Alric have never had a conversation. How do you feel about all those shields that keep putting on you? <laughs> a little preoccupied. Yeah, so you're fine now. Uh, who's next in the line? Uh, Me or him? Based on our last uh, our last climb, I was in the middle, but I don't really yeah. know for it like that. In one. terms of order, him. In terms okay. of who you want to pay attention to more. That's you. To decide. Well, this, I'm I'm perfectly fine. So, but lesser restoration is a touch spell, and that's a problem for all of you. You have to get it within touch range, and I'm not moving to you. Well, so if, uh, if you could communicate the fact that I might be able to spider climb for an hour, yeah. one hour, one hour makes mm-hmm. it easy. Yeah. So, uh. Everyone Wouldn't that make it more beneficial to do it to me because I can't spider climb? Everyone else okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling great! Yeah, you're welcome. All me. That. There's then up here. Uh huh. Squeeze him just a little bit more. It'll be I, funnier. <laughs> I feel terrible. I just have given the two people with asthma. <laughs> asthma and like, I cannot roleplay this, Lord. You will kill them. Uh, I, I can make the sound effects. So long as I like, stress one sound pick yeah. for like per minute. Hey, Tyler. I, if I have time, Orange D twenty. Orange D twenty. <laughs> I, I can. Make I have to go to the doctor but, for that. <laughs> but you gotta get to me. Shit, that's all you had to say. Hey. I cast spider climb. <laughs> uh, and just gotta Elric walk over. Just, <laughs> or just gonna suffer. I, I'm, I'm not going to you. You have to come to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'll cast one third level lesser restoration. So only one of your two symptoms is gone. But unless it removes both how, of them. In which how many case, third levels you got? I have three. You use three on him? Yeah. Yeah, lesser second restoration level. is a second level spell. Oh. Third level. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I use the third level slot. Yeah, you're just kind of. Yeah, you're up. glad I have no more combat scheduled for today, or else you uh, have no spell slots. I have third level spell slots. And fourth. I don't have fourth level. Oh right. You're I get it next sure. level with fourth level, but I have no spells that I can prepare at fourth level yet. The, the more I think about it, the less I want a multi class. <laughs> yeah, I've just accepted my multi class levels being down, but. <laughs> I like how it ends up building for some. I have all the oh, slots, yeah. but none of the spells. Yeah. I'm just going I'm about to fight next to level, so. Yeah, that's uh, all you want. That's all I want. Wait, no, don't you want to go up to level three? I'm going to go up to level three. Just but for two for now. I, I have, want two for now. I want. I have to go four levels in Ranger just so I can get that that, that good, good feat. That's the only reason I'm going four levels in, otherwise, I just go but three levels. Oh, King? Second level, I get a fighting style. You want feet? Oh. You're gonna um, hate oh, me. Which one are you getting? So. We'll figure. You know what? Later. No. Um, later. later. So, uh, you're only getting one of your two gone, um, unless one lesser restoration gets rid of you it. You don't all, get I to see. pick. I Flip a coin. I, I don't. Here. Oh. I've got. Uh, we well, gotta uh, pick which one's which first. Uh. Do you wanna get rid of leasing or shortness of breath? 
Uh, shortness of breath is whatever that symbol is. Kraken. Kraken. Is that a Kraken? Yeah. yeah. Alright, and then Weezing's one. Kraken, shortness of breath, Weezing's one. Weezing. You're no longer Weezing. You now only have shortness of breath. <laughs> don't stop. Don't, don't do don't that. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> but at the very least, a little bit better. Okay. You know, I'll take it. I also have to keep a third Listen, level spell slot, so just, I actually can't. If you're wheezing, but you're not short of breath, that's fucking weird. You're just making <laughs> weird sounds, but you're fine. <sighs> Talk about be like... <sighs> Although I did do that once. Anyways. Actually. Yeah, uh, so, yep, yeah, that's the app. Sucks to be you, Elder. Yeah. Sucks to be me. Alright, do we make it up the mountain? We're there. Alright. Okay. We're there, well, perfect. Done, Thank you. Survival check. Uh... Well, I'm no longer disadvantaged. Yeah, so you're good. Otherwise, it was going to be me yeah. making it, so. Oh, oh, my God. Wow, well, thank you for advantage. 24 All right. again. Isn't that 23, actually? No, it's 24. 20. Then it should have been 25 with the nat 20s. Eventually. Oh, it might have been, yeah. Yeah. Eventually, <laughs> you reach it to reach one of the tops of the cliff sides. The light is washed over by dark clouds, emitting a dim and dark blue light all, all over you. Uh, ahead of you lies a plain of white snow around five feet deep. And as you begin to wade through the snow stonk, though there isn't much to see beyond the wind, occasionally the area around you reveals itself. In the far distance, you see a massive shadow looming over the white sea of snow. <laughs> we specialize. We specialize. Your special and now, eye is now that we're at the top of the cliffs, we should have our conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now you're wading through five feet of snow, so you're all just kind of like, <laughs> you're just swimming at this uh, point. <laughs> Meanwhile, Stonk is just like up to his chest. He's like, yeah. did it, did it. I'm wearing snowshoes because if I'm mm-hmm. below that, I can't see. Mm-hmm. You will suffocate and die. Yeah. I am light. I am also light enough. I don't think I I'll say at this time. This is the, basically this heavy of snow would probably put you guys at like a fourth movement speed, but we're not going to be fighting up here. But canonically, you guys are moving slow as hell right yeah. now. Yeah. All right. All right. While we're walking, we could have a group conversation. Mm-hmm. I'm wheezing. <laughs> Stop hurting yourself. Stop. I just said. Uh, fine. Just, just don't do it for the role play. Don't hurt yourself just for the meme. Who wants to start it? I'm, I'm too busy wheezing. Oh, I'd fuck off. <laughs> it's not gonna be started. I'd... It's gonna have to be one it's of you two. It's not gonna, you think it's gonna be Rickard? When has Rickard ever started this? <laughs> okay, but that would be the biggest plot twist of history. <sighs> Why do I have to play mediator? It's because you're Slane. The, the you're is, supposed to mediate Slane poorly. is sighing loud enough that Rickard can hear this. You want the newbie to solve all your problems? What are you, a coward? I'm, you're the one who's causing all of the problems. Everything was fine. <laughs> uh, everything was acceptable. <laughs> Going according to play. <laughs> so. Rickard. Elric. Sonne. Make up and be nice. From the front, you hear the sound of a palm smacking against a head very loudly. I am angry for Mikal. (laughs) (laughs) Understandably so. (laughs) What did you not learn from Tabor? (laughs) Did Tabor teach you nothing? That's like the Jordan Peterson voice. Did Tabor teach you nothing? Ah, uh, Tabor <laughs> taught me that kindness gets you killed. As Tabor spoke to you, Tabor of is, kindness. Tabor is dead. Um, sucks to be Tabor. Sucks to be Tabor. Slane is the survivor here. Hold <sighs> on. Well Look, all I needed to do was start the conversation. It'll sort itself out, right? I would just really appreciate it if uh, Elric would cull his hostility somewhat. Listen, okay. 
he hasn't had his sword out this whole goddamn time. That would be insane. He Especially climbing. climbing. Yeah. <laughs> he has his sword out for like two nights in a row, and that was bad at it. And he's like been eyeing you, but he hasn't been like dagger eyeing you. This whole time. You could sense the vibes are there, but he's he's not actively plotting your downfall yet. All fair. Uh, I'd say 24 passive investigation does does state like, oh, this guy hates me. <laughs> no, this guy thinks you're pathetic. There's a difference. Oh. Look, he hates not for, my jam. For better or for worse. We're about to go into Team Vault's tournament. And we need to, uh, at least know we're not going to uh, shoot each other in the back. I won't shoot him in the back. The back is not where I shoot. Okay. We're not going to attack each other. I am not suicidal, Sonny. I'm glad to know that this is... <laughs> This is the line As we climb to the suicide I, mountain, <laughs> I am aware of the irony, Lord. It's what my oh, character sorry. would I'm do. Up. I'm, I'm quiet. I'm pretty sure Solene is doing the. No one can see him. You uh, just do this, and we see two hands reach up above the snow. Oh no, I'm on, I'm on top of the snow. I'm glad to know that self preservation is the only reason you haven't tried anything here. A self preservation is what you seek. I think you will get it, but I don't think you will enjoy it in the end. What? Why? Why so hostile? Like, I get that wasn't me saying I'm going to fucking kill you. It's, You're going to fucking die. You are going to end up a shriveled demon forever is what I'm going with for. Is the implication of what I just said. You basically have, like, a judgy Christian vibe next to you. Uh, I'm not gonna do shit. It's God who's gonna <laughs> What do you think my relationship is with the Baylor? What do you think? He gives you power, and you do whatever. You act as a, a lap dog for him, I suppose. Do as he pleases. <laughs> I guess if you want to boil it down to the barest of essentials, sure. Sure. With demons, I, I've learned the essentials are what matters. I feel like you're trying to say smart things. I have not... eight intelligence. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying this from Rickard. The saying it's uh... Can I roll? A... Rickard's being a bitch. Can I roll an insight on that statement that you made? Go ahead. Twenty-three. On what? Your the statement you just made uh, about bare essentials. Bare essentials. Do you have experience with demons? Basically, what I'm trying to gather from that, or is this? Completely, <laughs> completely. How accurate am I being in my judginess? Your family's fear mongering. Yeah, <laughs> I believe what I'm saying. Okay, I believe what I'm saying with my intelligence. I'm learned in this field. Oh boy. Can I also get from this insight though that you have no experience actually with the demon? Insight's not magic. Okay. You don't, like, see, like, pure recognition of I know the symptoms. Okay. But More or less. Demon bad! Demon bad! I want to ask you a question. What makes the Baylor worse than any god? Tell me. Because you know he kidnapped a child. Oh, boy. I wonder how many horrible things Ingvald has done, like kidnap a child. <gasps> Neglecting his daughter for 500 years. <laughs> oh, the Baylor's not worse than the gods. 
in a way he's better. But I would not let Ingvald into my house or into my head. You have. Your own little Ingvald. Your own okay. personal Ingvald. Okay. And the gods will crush you, but they will tell you so. Demons are a bit more sly about it. As far as I'm aware, the Baylor has not lied to me yet. The Baylor has not lied to me in all the years I've known of the Baylor. Inside? Has he lied? Inside? I'm pulling shit out of my ass. Both me and him. Yeah. Amazing. Wonderful. What, what I, even is that roll? I, I don't even think I, I need to roll for that. I think Liz already told me that. I, I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to like tell you anything. I don't think yeah. I don't think a four has earned anything. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I have absolutely no idea if you're telling the truth about that. I think we've already had this conversation. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't say anything. Yeah, basically, he's what he's driving at is, I'm not going to do anything to you right now, uh, but I think you're going to get fucked over this before this is all over. <sighs> by him, not by me. Hey, fair enough. Stalk from the front without looking back. Just Kai says, if it means anything, the Baylor didn't wipe out my tribe. Ingvold did. Tribe got wiped out? What? No, that's, that's not what he's saying out loud, but that's like, huh? Oh, oh, oh? This is new information for him. And, and as far as I'm aware, the Baylor wants Ingvald dead. So? And Thor's little pet project <laughs> killed half of my empire. It is as you say. Alone we stand no chance against the gods. But the Baylor is powerful. And I am hoping that he will respect the agreement. If he does not, then we die. And the Baylor loses his chance at killing you. I've told you yes how he became a demon. He swore an oath to his family, to his wife. He left them. They weren't useful to him. What happens when you lose your use? Both of you. Slimming kind of chuckles on here, you got insane now you just keep laughing <laughs> <laughs> also this whole conversation is wheezed <laughs> suppose when that happens we'll just kill Baylor too I nod no, it's like so when, not if. oh I caught that yeah <laughs> further hot takes. Somehow I feel like this made hostilities works. Actually, I think I actually white slightly better. Yeah. Aggressively right. more neutral. <laughs> out, of, out of morbid curiosity, why would you even care? Sure, this may have been your ancestor for however many hundreds of years ago. Sure, that's more than, that's basically as important as trivia. Why does it matter? Why do you insist on antagonizing me? You. I think this is about you? I think I care about you? Do you really think that what he did to my family ever ended? 
really care. And what? I don't care about you. I've you just noticed. happen to be somebody we happened across, and the fact that you are with us is simply baffling. So please, shut your mouth. Let's just keep going. Damn. I think that's the first time Rickard's ever actually been aggressive. He's been able, he's been capable the whole time. He's never needed to be aggressive. <laughs> you wanna just roll a quick intimidation check? Sure, why not? I need to double check my uh I'll give you advantage because that was good. I think your charisma's bad. <laughs> yeah, he's got ten charisma. charisma. Yeah, my charisma Hex is... Hexblade. Hmm? Int blade. <laughs> int blade. Blade yes. of the Int. Yes. Yeah, apparently Edison's starting a movement. Is that a 16? That's a 16. That's a 16. And that is plus nothing. 16. Okay. Yeah. He acknowledges, like, the force of your statement. He's not cowed. But he was gonna show up anyway. I think with your high investigation insight thing, I just don't get why you are the way you are. I don't. You're a puzzle to me. Man, and I don't like it. We thought that Stonk and Slane's relationship was like complicated. You two just straight up hate each other. <laughs> we're, we're character foils. <laughs> Ours is a very toxic relationship. Yours is just straight up. At least aggressive. you two are dependent on yeah. each other and have you know we're some sort two, of give and take. We're antagonists. Like, each each other's toxic story. relationship look good. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile we're not Rickard, sending a good message here. Meanwhile, Rickard and Slane are just like water. Cooler. Like, so, what about Rick, Rick that? Rick are just like, we are both bad people, and I accept that. <laughs> it's, me- the, it's the chat face meme. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we ready to move on? Yeah. I think we are. I think so. I don't think so. Let's try it. We're moving on. I want to talk to Rickard. All right. You'll have an opportunity. One oh, more opportunity. Okay. To talk. I'll want to talk to Elric later, but we can do that during the next watches. Yeah. And I might have to save that for next session. Yeah. The dark clouds of the storm that has tormented you for days, weeks, months now, reveals the massive silhouette of a stone fortress towering over the white, snowy cliffs. The whipping snow obscures the tops of the walls, allowing the shadows of the fortress to tower over you in the dark blue light of dusk. As you approach the entrance, trudging through the deep snow, you see a large wooden gate reinforced by large plaques of iron looming at around 30 feet tall. It is too dark for you to know how tall the walls are of this fortress, but as you approach, it slowly becomes larger. Do I know the proper procedure to get in? It's like three songs. Roll a religion check. Can, oh, I help, can I help him with that? Yes. No, Stone can help him with that because you you you've been told the name of this place. Fourteen. Um, I think I guidance. Guidance. guidance, guidance? It didn't say. Too late. Yeah. That probably would have been helpful. Yeah. Especially because your intelligence is oh so high. But you have plus purpose. two. Sixteen. Sixteen. You would know that this place is referred to as the Sturborg Temple. And you remember uh, from Beruvik being told this. Do I know its relation to the tournament or what it does? It's where you're supposed to be. Hey, hey. Do you just go in? Do you need a knock? Do you say, hey, hail hey, involved and the door opens? You don't know. But I'd say from, from what you roll, you would know that this place is home to... You rolled a 16, right? Mm -hmm. Many both voluntary and involuntary worshippers of Ingvald. We are here. Seems so. How close are we to the door? 
You have now made it up to the door. Uh, right. There's no doors or anything. Knocker. Optional. There is a large uh, wooden gate door that's uh, sitting right in the center of it, but it is closed and reinforced by metal. Yeah, you all knock? Uh, I'll go up and knock. I have a question for you. Sure. I um, cast the spell knock. And I'll, I'll <laughs> ask Rickard this. I cast um, shatter. <laughs> <laughs> Roughly, how long has it been since we left? Uh, since Keen Mind. I'll say a couple of weeks. I'm I'm not sure of the exact yeah. time, but it's been a couple. But Hilda shouldn't have made it quite yet. No, no, okay. you guys are making good time. Okay, we, we that was my main. We rolled like you four are, and a half times. Yeah, you are a little late to the tournament because Gunner held you up. Yeah, but you guys made up good time. Okay. Especially with the multiple nat 20s we rolled. Yes. We're oh. actually on time now. I don't know how the fuck that happened. <laughs> so many. Thank God. Well, listen, we should be early and yeah, have You guys time. missed all the avalanches, I guess. We're so oh early. God. We can just we, kill Ingval before the tournament. We multiple avalanches behind us. Yeah. Can we say all those nat 20s killed one competitor? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Little Timmy somehow made it all the way to yeah. the top. Yeah, R- Rickard, like, kicked off a stone and just kind of went, whoops, and that just fell down, like, hundreds and hundreds of feet and just knocked someone straight in the head and he just fell off. No. <laughs> no. I feel like the one little thing causes an avalanche to one person in particular. Did, it just single oh, sliver. Did the Remoraz land on somebody? <laughs> it landed on somebody, and because it was still burning from heat, it just kind of, kind of went ah and let go, and they just fell with the Remoraz <laughs> on the place. That sounds like an awful way to go. Yeah. Oh, to be a random NPC underneath <laughs> the main party. <laughs> All right. So you wish to knock on the door. I wish to knock on the door. You can hear I, it echo as this this door is thick as hell. Can I cast Thaumaturgy so thick- to make it louder? Sure. Truly announcing our presence. Minutes pass and nothing happens. I'm gonna break down the door. <laughs> Ingvald opens the door in a fucking bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I was sleeping. You guys are late. Holy shit, it already happened. We already declared the fucking winners. Leave. Go away. <laughs> I feel like he did that. He just like, look, go open the doors, look down, just smite, go back inside. <laughs> you I disrupted know. my beauty sleep. Wind swept, <laughs> throws you off the cliff. <laughs> no, I guess we'll think as he's doing that. No, please. <laughs> is the door locked? Uh, it is 30 feet wide and you have no door handle. Or 30 feet tall, and you have no handles. You have Goliath. It's three stonks, it's three stonks yeah, tall, which makes it... You probably need, like, a string score of 30 to open it. So if we all together... 30? Listen, 30 is about as high as you go. Um, can... I'll look for, like, a lever or something. Do you have any spells? Okay. Roll a stone, a stone to push. I'm don't. looking for a way to break yeah. down the door. I would no. like to also roll nine, like minus one. Okay. Um, an investigation as well to try and see if I burn the door. Would you? <laughs> hey, that'll hey work. Rickard, do you want to help me try and find so there's no oxygen a way to open it? Here. And by that I mean you, you you want me to give you advantage on investigation? Absolutely. <laughs> Doing the one. Buddy. That's a nat 20 plus a 28. With a nat 20, what are you looking for? A way to open. You never really A way to open the door. A way to open the door, yeah, sorry. A way to open the door. You you, you kind of start investigating the door and you look at it and you realize that this this door... It's a pole door. (laughs) Yes. Well... You lift up to say like a little stone. It's like a drawbridge. You have no control on it from the outside. Oh. You have to be let in. Oh. Because as you look for that, far above you, so say Slane, you notice the faint, obscured orange light of a torch flicker looming off the edge of the wall. Where's the orange? <laughs> it sits there for a while, but soon disappears. More minutes pass, and nothing happens. Break down the door. I, I sit down. <sighs> I don't have oxygen for this shit. I start screaming. Do you? 
delicious. <laughs> Do you? Do you? Uh, I... I'll shout out as loud as I can if you can thaumaturgy this. Oh, I... Okay. Let us in, you fucks. <laughs> I was gonna say something, but if you got... My name is Stonecaller Twice Orphaned, and I am here to participate in the tournament! Tournament. Tournament. Oh, it's Stomaturgy, so it's extra loud. Tournament, tournament, tournament. We've announced... You can only use Stomaturgy on yourself. Is it myself? Or you, your voice booms up to three times as loud for one minute. Oh. Than other people's you get voices. as loud as a stock. Yeah. <laughs> so it would have to be you to do it. Me too, me. me too, me too. Like but he said. I'll say stonk. I'll let you roll an intimidation check with your strength just to like. Intimidate the door. Yeah, intimidate the door. Doors. D&D party's that worst nightmare. <laughs> too bad we don't have the spell. <laughs> Fucking knock. Fuck down a shade. Make a new door. It's supposed to fly up. That does not. I could destroy the door. Oh (laughs) my god. (laughs) Your voice cracks while saying it. Stunk, the shortness of breath hits you. I am Stunk (laughs) Color. I I would like to. uh, Upon hearing him. Upon hearing him. Stop. Yeah. Oh boy! You I'm really the, sorry that we used the name the Tricksters because uh, I'm going to be the shit. You're going to be the shit out of me. <laughs> <clears throat> Thaumaturgy upon myself okay. to make myself loud and imposing. Twa, They're French now. <laughs> I am <laughs> I am Slane Donovani. Okay. We fought in the name of Ingvald back in Elder Guard. We are here to participate in the tournament. Yes, roll with advantage. Please. Give me guidance, please. Did you ask me? Please. Guidance. <laughs> Before I made the roll. Four. Okay, so that's twelve. 14. Uh, what am I rolling? Uh, intimidation. Intimidation. Hmm. I think it's a plus two. Wait, plus two. Works. 16. All right. With a 16, Decent. you hear your voice echo In off like of the cliffside walls but beside you. Total. A few seconds pass. I'm going to have my strength. <laughs> you still hear silence. Oh, you got the wrong building. But you notice two torch lights above you that linger for a couple seconds longer than last time. And then they disappear once more. Just, but I have their attention. You could just spite it, claim it. <laughs> yeah. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I really thought about asking you to cast Fly, having us raise up. <laughs> I could do that with two of us. Yeah. yeah. Actually, three of us all together, but... How tall is the wall? You don't know. We could cast it on. It's too dark. I'll the say two people if if you want to do a quick intelligence check just to do like some uh, what is it? It's a trigonometry. Uh, yeah, to do figure out the the no. Pythagorean theorem. No, 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 no. We we aren't that advanced. It is it is quite high up. This yeah. isn't this is only a Rickard thing. could attempt that. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I, I know I ten minutes of wait because I know for a fact. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I caught their attention. I think technically if I didn't stop, the whole map climb could have been done and we fly, <laughs> but then there's a cold fucking hypoxia of all. Oh, yeah. yeah. You would, also, your lungs would just explode. Yeah. You would your not your drugs would have also that exploded. But the, theoretic, uh, one fly is several, like, several miles. Yeah. He could have done it. Yeah. It just would have killed him. It would have killed yeah. the pressure. The, you you would have pressure would have exploded. Would, like, destroy you. You would have had a stroke, my dude. <laughs> yeah. uh, just as you get up there. Yeah. Like go, going up to like, <laughs> if he was like, if he was like <laughs> had a stroke of air. <laughs> if he was like a war force, she could do it. Yeah. Just thinking of us being like at the very bottom of the mountain, and Rickard's like, "Ha ha, see you later, losers!" And he shoots up, and then like a few minutes later, we're climbing. We just hear something up. Shoot! <laughs> here's the thing: he decided to go up, then forward, so he flops right down. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, yeah. Now we wait. For better or for worse. Also, I don't think it's a good idea to cast demonic magic in front of me. No. 
I think he might think I, it's funny. <laughs> Before he kills you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ingvald's got a great sense of humor. Yeah. He'll laugh at your attempt, then kill you. Yes, exactly. It's an honor to be killed by Ingvald, it after is. all. <laughs> what was that death cult? Were they Ingvald? Gundor. No. They were they, they they believed in something called a shadow titan. Wow. I I've done my job here. We must we, we just gotta wait now. But they know we're here. down the door. <sighs> no, you gonna break down the door? No. Don't do it. If you want to break it down, I could just catch shatter. Uh, <laughs> you really, really <laughs> want to use that spell, huh? I do. I have spells. I don't use them. If they're, I use the babies. I magic missile. I can magic missile the door. If they don't All open right. it within like an hour, so I'll cast create food in the building in the corner, so we don't have to worry about that. An hour passes. I will cast it then. Okay. I need to actually know which spells I use because I have one. There's all spells on this. <laughs> if another hour passes, I'm breaking down the door. Another hour passes. All right, Stonk, you're going to want to lever it uh, back towards you. That's the way the... It's, it's more of a drawbridge than a door that opens. It's If you try to push it in, it's just not going to work. Thank you, Lindsay. I'll keep that in mind. I, what are you, you going to do? I created bland popcorn for this. As yeah. well. Like, some of this is just popcorn, so Rickard and Slimane can just <laughs> watch what's about to unfold. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go up What to time it. is it? In in game, yeah, it is getting dark out at this point. Okay, you, Rickard, I'll say you probably casted bo- create bonfire. A, I'm but a, yeah. I am amused and tired and I want this over with. Take a bless. <laughs> What's that D four and everything? I'll use Austria bless. Okay, also cast guidance upon him too for this. Sure, you're blessed and guided. Also, right. you can see when I pull out my necklace you know, again to right. cast it, but it's uh, dark, so you can't see it. You know, no, there's a fire. Can I see what uh, symbols on that? On what? My holy symbol. His holy symbol. Out. Sure. It's like a little. It's, it's, like, a, dick butt. it's like a little sunny thing. While you're doing that, yeah, I'll, it's uh, in your. Uh, I know in your art. Okay. No, it is. It's um, definitely dick. No, no, it's it's in um, character art. Yeah. I just want to know what the symbol is. Sunny D. Uh, can I roll a religion? Go ahead. And you could tell I'm using it as a holy symbol. Oh, I am blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed, technically. Damn. Natural 19. Plus 3. 20, 22. Religion makes it 26. While that's happening, I'd like to see your attempt to take down the store. With guidance and bless. Well, Rickard gave me such great advice um, on uh, wedging the drawbridge that, you know, you get it on the side instead <laughs> of just trying to beat it down. Mm-hmm. I know that's pretty smart, so I'm going to try that. <laughs> Can you have advantage? Because <laughs> <laughs> Technical advantage. <laughs> I the hell I'm using the halberd, of course, but I'm wedging <laughs> Break it like a twig. It's a magic oh, item. It can't break. And I have mending for if it does break. <laughs> he does have tech. We, we've covered a he, lot of bases he here. He does have the help action. <laughs> the, the best, the worst that could happen is it doesn't work. The yeah. DC still athlete. probably like uh, thirty strength or some check. shit. Strength check. Not athletics. No. And add two d four to this. Got it. Um, all right, so that's actually not great with all of that. Uh, so it's a total of 18. <laughs> yeah, with an 18, you, you put your halberd in, you start, like, pulling at it. You're like, come on, come on, come on. And you realize in that moment what that religious symbol is. Tyler, would you like to tell him? I'll send it to you. I'm not oh. saying that shit out loud. Oh, right. boy. I'll send it. I'm going to wait for your reaction, and then we'll see what happens with Stunk. Uh, are you, he, he knows knows. He knows knows. Okay, okie dokie. Are, are, am I, oh boy, I am. Boy, oh boy, oh I'm boy, quite oh scared. Boy. It's going it. in my notes as well. This is me it. right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. I need to roll something. Your alcoholism. My alcoholism. Yeah. I sent it to you. One six percent doesn't matter.
You hear the door crack, breaking the ice buildup around the archway, and a cranking chain pulls the gateway open. The wind begins to spill its way into the door, and you see a figure stand in the doorway, with its robed figure thrashing in the wind. A tall Goliath man stands with torches flickering from the wind in the hallway behind him. Who do you represent? I don't want to open any of the door. Yeah, you're just kind of by the side. <laughs> <laughs> the, the coincidence of this? Yeah. Chef's kiss. Oh, yeah. We did shout that like twice already. I'm glad we didn't fly over the wall. Actually, yeah. that's a good question. Who do we represent? Um, my my I, first can, answer is myself. Yeah, so, we can answer yeah. ourselves for this. We Absolutely. are representing ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We Not are perfect. <laughs> No. Uh, we can use our wish to help them, but our wish is still our own. Yeah. Okay. We um, never so agreed. We yes. The figure is still kind of immersed in shadows, but tilts his head slightly and says, "They're a little late, but still on time." Follow me, and he turns and begins to walk down the hallway. So we're late for being early. Follow. Um, Follow. is giving you a look. What? The Goliath turns and begins to walk down the hallway, the wind still funneling down the hall. As you follow him, the gate begins to close as you hear the chains heave the thick door shut. Slanae, you notice as you walk in two Goliaths off to the right of the doorway in a small inlet off the hall cranking the wooden gate closed. You notice small black holes where their ears should be. I don't like that. And the uh, Goliath? Is the, the two Goliaths who were Can opening I up the... Roll is something something? Is that like something that... What are you that... rolling? Do you, do you know what that means? Yeah, is that like something that... Mark of slavery or... People who are know. devoted to Ingvald might do? Roll a religion check. Oh. You're blessed. Thank God I'm happy. Thank God you're a happy. Jesus Christ. I need to mark that down. 10, 3, for a total of 17. 17. You'd know that. I only have to get last a minute. Ingvald has some followers whom he deafens. Those who you had just saw are his thralls. Uh Uh-oh. Stinky. God damn it, why is the black? Wow. Belly of the beast now. It only goes uphill from here, right? Right? No, we hit the peak. Oh no. We peaked? We peaked. Literally. The Goliath eventually turns to you and introduces himself as Adalstein, which you recognize as the name of the Goliath who spoke to Gunnar. He leads you across a large courtyard shadowed by the night and into a large windowed room with nine other people shivering on mats on the floor. The windows in this room have no glass and allow the wind and frigid air to circulate through the room. He turns to you all and says, Tomorrow we start the final bout of the trials. You will be tested on your will, strength, and most importantly, your character. Rest well, you'll need it. And he turns away and walks away. This place seemed like the kind of place if you set fire on the floor, that's not that's not approved. <laughs> Rest well in the room that is perpetually cold. Alright, we'll do. <laughs> um well shit. Uh you said nine figures resting yeah. on mats? Did it look like nine, nine murderable figures? Alright. 
Um, would you like to roll a quick perception check? Can I just use sure. my passive perception, just kind of glancing around? Uh, yeah, sure. You you notice that there's one who appears to be kind of awake right now. Okay. Nope, not great. Like, 11? No. Yeah. Wait, I'm blessed. <laughs> 15. Okay, with 15. <laughs> you would notice that there, there's and the, and one away over. right now. I Some of the others are shivering. Down. You would notice that there is one who's kind of leaning up against the wall, shivering, trying to go to sleep. But what you notice in particular is as you walk over one of the figures, oh, that guy looks fucking dead. Oh, damn. <laughs> Sucks to be him. Most appear to be human. Uh, okay. No, actually, actually, everyone is... Losers. Yes, everyone is human. They're all dwarves. Imagine being a human. However, I'd say nouns. with a with your passive perception, you're able to note that some of them aren't Abnordians. It is dark right now. There's probably no torchlight in this room. So I have bedtime. I'm blind. It is time for bed. And I say that we can wrap up this session here. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Welcome to the Stuborg Temple. I have been looking forward to this place for so long. Why would you hold it away from us for so long? Oh Warren? my god, it's been, it's literally been hyped for ten sessions. Do, do we level up by getting here now? You level up after you're done with this place. Uh, oh. Fuck you. <laughs> Give us our level. Assuming you survive. Give us Assume. our level, Lauren. They're gonna beat me up in my sleep. I am. All right. So I'm not gonna, gonna beat you up in that. your sleep. I, I'm not a coward. I'll take you on while you're awake. Yeah, let's fucking go. Come on, <laughs> come on, let's fucking go. There's swords on the wall. Yeah. So, uh, before I end the recording, we got any comments? Oh, we're having a conversation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we're having a conversation. Remember when I said Baylor wasn't actually my character's main focus? That's just a side plot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Main oh. plot time. Let's do it. Uh, Can you make a guess on what that symbol was? Go for it. Ingvald? That's a guess? Because I remember you said at one point that you, uh, for all your powers, you got it from Ingvald, but you didn't um, like him. So I could be wrong about that. And I'd probably say you've actually have noticed some symbols that would... Uh, infer a worship of Ingvald, but he has verbally denounced that. Okay. So it is something else, then. Meh. Eh, it's complicated. Uh, with that religion that I rolled for mm-hmm. that, can I get anything else on that, or is that all I get? On the thralls? Not the thralls. On, the, on, my... on, on, on that. If uh, I, get nothing... I don't know what you told him. Oh, I, I, I just said what the necklace yeah. was. Oh. Um, what yeah, I, I will, I'll send okay. you one other thing. I, okay, yeah, I, I, I just wanted... There's one other thing I could tell you. I just wanted I, to know if I could say it? Man, I just wanted to know if I could be nice it. to it. Uh, I think we should keep it a secret for now. Yeah. What thing? It would, yeah. Yeah. I'll figure out stuff. me record against the world. Hey, hey. I think we bonded a little bit this session. A little bit, yeah. Okay. That, that's what you... Wish. Yeah. We, we get each other. That's what I figured, but I wanted... It's not... I wanted confirmation. we do get each other. There might be conflict between us in the future. Like, the the line hey. of my questioning was basically trying to guess, uh, gauge how supportive of the Baylor you are. And it seems like you're pretty comfortable where you are. Yeah. Um, but you also aren't, like, actively trying to fuck over anyone who goes against the Baylor. He's like a guy who <laughs> votes Democrat for the sake of voting Democrat. He doesn't like the Baylor, but he's on his side for now. Yeah. yeah. It, as far as Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, no as far as I'm no aware, who compared to the here. other gods... The Baylor's a fucking saint. Just kidnapping a child? Shit! A <laughs> single child. And his family? Ah, oh, people do that all the time. Uh, I think Ingvald does that on the weekends. Ingvald did that to his daughter for 500 yeah. years? Wait until you guys meet Ingvald and his wife. I love them so much. Oh, God. That sounds sarcastic. That sounds so sarcastic. <laughs> it's, not, it's not sarcastic. I love them so much. <laughs> all right. All righty. Well, I cannot wait for next session. Uh, I'm very curious how... Um, well, I... It truly is sad that Tavi and Tyrell and Tabor couldn't be here for it, but we um, made it. Are three of the sleeping humans slam? You know? <laughs> yeah. It was worth but a shot. It was like the Baylor said the last session, which I wasn't here, but I got the refresher, it seemed to imply that uh, 
there's still an alive member of the party that we thought was dead. Yeah. Wait, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah there's a bit of They didn't care about there. the demon spawn. He didn't care about the demon born. Oh, uh, I thought he was talking about... Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> that makes total sense now. I mean, that makes sense, but we're still all under the impression. That meant Thomas really death. nothing yeah. to me. Yeah. Uh, I, I Rickard, you would have heard that and you would have gone, oh. I'm pretty sure I didn't even know that Tavi was... T- but right. knowing Rickard, he would have kept it to himself. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. the one thing he kept to himself. I, I think I actually did not know that Tavi was a tiefling prior to them disappearing. Yeah, no. you still have no idea. I don't. No, on the boat. Mm-mm. Never saw it. Never saw it. You know, we I kept it from Mikhail as well, mainly. But Yeah, because Mikhail said that if Tavi had revealed that to her or him earlier, mm-hmm. he would have given her a, or him a hug. Um, which I believe made, it was revealed to to everyone. It was kept secret from Mikhail and um, and Stonk. Yeah, oh. Stonk, was, Stonk wasn't really paying attention when that was happening. Stonk I like had a, a lot more. He going rolled on. like a four perception. Yeah, yeah. He, I think Stonk was piloting the ship at that point in time, and also True. about to fall asleep. True. Yes. Too busy um, throwing Dagfin. Yes. Yeah. Off the boat. Yep. Yes. So, so um, yeah, no, I didn't know that. All right. So, I Bam. double did not catch what he was talking about. Yeah. Well, I mean, you weren't. <laughs> and the only one who else would yeah. have caught that would have been Slade, but Slade was definitely asleep. <laughs> I and heard it. You have keen mind, right? So you would have remembered it word for word. Oh, absolutely. Yep. I heard and it, Slade, but I was so preoccupied, I didn't have time to figure out what the fuck All right, so <laughs> let's wrap up this recording. But there's might be a catch. Anybody want to give us the final words? Wow, it's been nice knowing you all. Come quad. <laughs>